Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Roll for Damage. It has happened. It has happened exactly as I told you that it would. We have been given a chance to make this a full campaign. Now then, without any further ado, may I please welcome the fantastic Dan, the exceptional Matt, the amazing Axel Bevington, and joining us later on, AJ Winters. Introduce yourselves, guys. What do each of you do? Axel, you first. Hello, my name is Axel Bevington. I'm an actor slash makeup artist slash creative uh, being in here in Perth. Um, you can find me at these links right here on this side, I think. Nope, other side. Okay. That's me. That's me done. I'm nearly done with my makeup course, which is really exciting. So stay tuned for some makeup looks on my Instagram. Yay! Huzzah. All right, and Matt. Hey, I'm Matt. I DM, uh, I, I, I DM and do the stuff over at Split the Party. Uh, today I'm playing uh, Tai Lung again, once again. Uh, and and I don't know, uh, we've got some links down there. I'm also a professional DM. You can hire for me for games at, uh, pff, I'm forgetting everything, dungeonmasterforhire.com.au. <laughs> oh, boy. It's going to be one of those streams. Probably. And how about you, Dan? Uh, tell us how you Hello. Work. Oh, yes. Hello, I am Dan. I am DRAP in Twitch chat. And that's basically my internet presence. I look supporting my friends. All these lovely people are awesome. Go follow them. But aside from that, I'm actually um, on this channel again, but on Monday, same time slot for Humblewood, because that's apparently what I do. I have proficiency in playing um, questionable uh, little woodland critters. It's almost as though you're some kind of of actor. What? Anyways, you take that back. How dare you? Since when? Oh, Dan, now. I'm gonna go cry when did now. that happen? Oh, How extremely so dare I? Hello, small town <laughs> creepy. It is good to see you again. Now, since it has been a month and a half, I'm also going to introduce myself before I do the full intro. Uh, I am Rhythm in the Mind. I am a semi-professional online novelist and now a Twitch DM. Uh, I run this madness, the family we made, on Roll for Damage and in about a month and a half's time, uh, Corsair's Cove, where we will be shifting after episode three. Uh, I also write Touch Web Serial over at touchwebserial.com. It is a extremely heavy duty novel on child abuse and psychology and the nature of trauma and recovery. Uh, but with a bit of a fantasy flair. So if that sounds interesting to you, go check it out. And without further ado, let us begin with The Broken Castle. Now, it has been almost a year since uh, your previous escapade, uh, retrieving the remains of Jean's brother, Sen. In that time, you have made good on your promise. You have taken his invention, the Brimsalist, and have brought it back to the people and have started advertising it and, and industrializing it and trying to get it out to as many people as humanly possible with help from the man who owns the fireworks store at which you used to work. He gave you a startup grant and some business advice and some technical advice in design work. And it's working. It has been nine months since that particular thing got started and you have finally managed to pay back that initial grant. Meanwhile, however, Pan has been entrusted to go and retrieve quite a few new materials. You need more cavernite, uh, you need more steel, and, and you need more skilled workers in order to actually make the thing work. And in order to go and retrieve all of that stuff, 
she's having to go to some pretty dangerous places. And you have entrusted your trusty new assistant, Riley, to go and help her in this task. And mm. you all like Riley. He's a pretty cool kid. He kind of obviously has a crush on Pan, um, but he hasn't made a move yet. Uh, but he volunteered to, to go and help her in this, and yeah, that should be good. They should be back in about a week. Now then, what are you doing? It is an average day. You are working, you are doing your thing. Jean, how's work going at the at your new business? Well, yeah, as you said, business is booming. It's going pretty well. Um, who would have guessed that the working class would appreciate some gadgets and equipment to help their lives be easier? Um, yeah, I'd say at the moment, um, because I've sent them off to get more materials, that I'll just, I'm just pottering, just pottering, kind of trying to keep myself busy, but there isn't really much to do. Yep, yep. All right, and Tai Lung, what are you doing? Uh, are, we, are we still living in that same place? Like the, are you we are all living are there still, together? Or am I you living are still, there at the earliest? You are all still living in there. The only difference is that you now own it instead of squatting there yeah yeah uh is there like a new room that i have been like, i want to say there's like a new room i've maybe been trying to make or carve out uh just expand the place you know i get bored pretty easily so the renovations come quick and fast well uh Basing say is fairly compacted but you could certainly make either an upper floor or a basement i'm making a basement make it a big How basement a big basement? I, I push the All limit right. of how big that basement can be every time. And then, you know, it will always be a little bigger if it can be. Roll either passion or creativity. Okay. Okay. Passion. Okay. I think I got a nine total. All righty. Um, that is a success and a pretty decent one. Uh, you have made a basement level that is the same size as the entire rest of the house. Heck yeah. And it's a sort of an open plan thing. It's kind of, there, there's a sunken area in the middle of it, basically just uh, sort of a, sort of a built-in patio, but you're, you're trying to expand it so that it can become kind of an indoor pool. Uh, mm -hmm. And you've also got like some some beanbag grottos uh, in one corner, and kind of a, a it would be a, a nice sort of dining area, except that it's all under underground. Uh, but instead, you've got it sort of lit up by lantern light, so it just looks like a dining table in the middle of a blackout. Yeah, nice. But I it's like taking it. shape. It's it's taking shape. Uh, Rowan, what are you doing? Uh, so we're teenagers with a business. <laughs> you are teenagers with a business. All right. Um, I basically patrol, considering that there's probably some nasty doodads out there that are trying to exploit the fact that we're teenagers who are running a business. They're going to meet oh, the business end up. of my fist. <laughs> Excellent. And you have, in fact, stopped more more than one bandit raid on supply wagons in the past year. Um, you tend to work as, as the security detail when you're not just lugging heavy materials from place to place. Um, something appears to be going wrong. All right, so Gene, you are pottering around and you notice out of the, the usual crowd out of the usual masses of the city comes a really quite well-to-do looking woman. She looks way too rich to be in this part of the city. Um, and she walks pretty much straight over to the stall. And you can see that there is a, there is a 
short kind of bent over man behind her and he's never walking in front of her he's always walking half a step behind he's always covering himself slightly with her mm. and she walks up and she doesn't say a word she just stands at the um at the counter and sort of does that thing where she waits for you to address her waits for you to make yourself available um i hastily put down whatever i'm holding and <clears throat> uh hi hi welcome welcome uh how can i help you are you the owner of this enterprise yeah i try to lean on like a post that's me yeah. <laughs> excellent excellent i heard you were rather young I've been well, hearing... you know, what I, I don't have in years I make up for in, like, experience and technical know-how. How can I help you? I'm sure you do. I've been hearing quite a lot about this invention of yours, this, uh, Brimsilus, was it? Right. I represent a, a bit of an interest over in uh, a nearby city. You may have heard it. Kangbar Maru. Uh, we were looking to make a bit of an industrial investment in your enterprise. We intend to provide labor costs, material costs, and shipping in order to help expand this great nation of ours. Is this something that you would be willing to negotiate with me on? Uh, sure, we can, we can start negotiations. Uh... I didn't catch your name. I'm Jean. I'm Xiao Lu. And she doesn't shake your hand. Okay, good, because um, it is clammy. She just, she just puts her hands <laughs> to her chest uh, uh, and sort of, but of course you knew that already, sort of gesture. Yeah, I just didn't want to assume, um, you know. Uh, yes, of course, you recognize the crest. And she points to a little symbol on her shoulder that you hadn't noticed. Yeah. Um, what, is it, what does it look like? And, uh, tai Lung, what does it look like? Oh, uh, 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 it's like a crane, kind of with the, it's like fishing, it's like mid fishing, like, or it's like catching a fish or something like that. Like, like, it it's in a, looks like, to like, be like, like a kingfisher in a river kind of deal. It looks like some kind of fishing bird uh, in the middle of retrieving a fish from the water. And you can see a sort of a slightly inlaid uh, plume of water coming up behind it as it dives in. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a nice chicken. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. The negotiation will be taking place in a week's time at my residence in Kangbamawu. Is this acceptable to you? I hope you're not busy. Oh, look, I, like I said, I own this place. I can ship, like, shuffle things around. It shouldn't be a problem. Um, I am going to need to bring my business associates with me because, uh, you know, it's not good form to make business decisions without them. If that's I... uh, suitable to you. I appreciate your candor and your foresight. I shall tell my guards to accept you at the door. Please don't be late. And she turns around and she leaves and she takes the, uh, um, the old man with you. her. And, and he just, before he turns away, he just gives you a, a sort of a slightly leering grin and then goes off to follow her. Jean is now clammier uh, than ever. Just uh, <laughs> in the elbows, in the pits, in the head. Just got the money sweats. Behind the knees. You, yeah. Got the money sweats. Yeah, it's not as though the lives and livelihoods of every single person that you care for is now depending on a single conversation. Yeah. This is fun. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> so, I'm presuming you, you take this rather interesting information back to your... Uh, family, as it were. Yes, I'm going to open the door. I assume everyone, people are there. Yeah. Uh, guys, does anyone know what a candor is? 
Uh, I doesn't uh, doesn't Rowan light those every time he goes to bed? Yeah, I don't know. Some ladies like have a nice one. It's like different incense, right? Like a candle. Oh, that sounds right. Yeah. That's really weird because I didn't have any burning in the shop when this lady came. Oh, by the way, a, a lady uh, came up to my stall. Say so what now? So did they buy anything? I can't remember her name, but she had like a. Uh, she, she was from uh, uh, that rich city, like. You know, where the rich people and come from. Like yeah, it's from Mawu and had like a, like a chicken that was like in the water. Uh, the volume should be slightly higher now for the music chat. Is it any better? Mm. Ooh. Um, like, like, if, like a crane or something? Like it's in the water? In the water? I, I mean, yeah. If I guess if you like squinted your eyes and turned your head. Okay. It's more like a chicken to me, but... Oh, I mean, they're just chicken farmers, you know, you people... You, you get farmers owning a lot of rich land out in Marlboro. Oh, no, 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 she wasn't. She was not a farmer. She was like... But, like, do they have, like, a farming business, maybe? Is that why they want to do business? Like, like, what do you... Do they have she to... Said, her, like, okay, so this I'm lady came like to my stall, with fireworks. she was like... She was like, oh, I... I want to invest. In, in your stuff, I'm gonna pay Hang for on. labor and and and, and, and the materials. Like money, and I wanna, like, that money. Yeah. like money, yeah, like, like how much money? Invest. I don't know. I didn't ask. She was like really tall and kind of. I like, need to say it. And... Well, I, I don't know. The rich people have money. If they say they want to give you money, just take the money. But, okay, she wants to start negotiations. Could they like? So uh, could they put, we're like, gonna a have to go to her place it? in a week, oh. but. We have to go to Mawu? Yeah. And she, uh, she did she did leave an address. Okay, good. On your desk. Uh, like on the counter. Okay. Oh, it's, it's really crumpled. I have not taken care of it. It is crumpled in my pocket. It's really like, crumpled, but when you uncrumple it, it's actually really, really nice paper with extremely finely done handwriting and and sort of a, a personal inlaid sigil at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, look, this is rich people you. writing, you know? They got time to make it nice. We're gonna go here. Yeah. So, uh, hope you guys are free in a week. Fuck. I mean, I'll work for you, so yeah. Look, look it's, it, look, it's, I, I think, I think, you know, as much as I don't really want to go to Mawu, it could be good to at yeah, least. Yeah, look, I know it sucks. It's like know. a stinky old city, but. I mean, it's, yeah, it, no, it's no fun. Isn't. It's no fun. You know, I've been out there a couple times. It's, it's, it's meh. really meh. No, nah, it's bad. Yeah, and... it doesn't seem like your vibe. Not at all. Oh, no, not at all. That's why I like That's Marsing not... Say way better. Yeah. Yeah. Having yeah. looked, having looked at the um, at the sigil at the bottom of the paper, you recognize it almost instantly. I do not say a word. <laughs> Good. Okay. Good to know. I'm just like. <laughs> but this is. I just like don't think the, the deal's gonna go too well. I just, you know, set ourselves up for, you know, you know, when rich people like they, they come around to talk to people without money and they like trying to try and control us. That's the vibe yeah. I get from from what you're saying. So like, let's hear them out. But the second it's fishy. Let's let's bounce. Yeah, we'll have like we should you know, have yeah. a code word. Chicken. I mean, you're, you're the one negotiating. Well, OK, look, yeah, Gene, this I is, know this you is guys you, technically Betty. work for me, but come on, like you, you work with me. We're yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. but like sometimes, well. but sometimes you're like you, you are like a little bit bossy, and it does come across as like Whoa. you know you see yourselves as us, period. But no, it's yeah. okay. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, like carry this, is, like protect that. But like it's that fine, is man. such that is such a gene move. Just I know I'm your boss, but I'm not your boss. I'm when your you're friend. Not their boss. Yeah, come on, we're buddies. Yeah, but, yeah, no, 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 look, yeah, yeah. We're, we're like and, best and friends, plus, best friends. Like yeah. outside of work, outside south, of work, best friends. And then sometimes yeah. at work, and I don't want to like bring this up because we're doing negotiations now, but like sometimes you can be a bit like hard on the us. And I think you could just like a little bit, like, like bossy, like like a boss, like how I'm. Yeah, your but boss, like, but not really yeah, we're but, friends, but like, but I'm like, your boss. But, like but like, yeah, I, yeah okay. Okay, no, 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 you can, you can, 
Look, we'll have a staff meeting. You can bring it up then. Oh. But for now, we'll just say, like, even if the, the negotiations don't go well, I mean, we're, we're doing yeah, yeah. fine without the rich lady. Without the rich chicken lady. Yeah. Look, yeah, let's go. I don't well, think we're going to yeah. lose. There's, we've got nothing to lose in this situation. Well, I think we've got a whole company to lose, but... Um, yeah. Uh, well, look, the I, company I'm still, exists I'm, without the chickens. I'm, st I'm still in. I'm not saying I'm not in. Yeah, I'm still in. I'm all, I'm all the way. I, I believe in us I, all the way. Look, uh, guys, I know I put on like a really, really like strong put together front as a young entrep entrepreneur and I'm, you know, all that. But yep. I'm actually like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, man. I'm a kid. Yeah. No, none of us know what we're doing. We're only like 15, dude. Wait, what? You don't know what you're doing, but I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. Know. Know what I don't know. Where, I, 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 I ran away from I'm home. Doing. It's fine. Rowan does know what he's doing at all I, times. I've not, I've Rowan, not known what I've been doing ever, us, right? ever, forever. Of course. See, this is the kind of you're boss gonna... stuff I was talking about. This is this is good boss stuff. Like, we're, we're relating and, and still, we're still cool about it. Oh, oh, right. Uh, yeah. Uh, I also no 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 don't switch don't switch I like this I like this I like this shade on you I like when you I like when you're vulnerable with us. Oh, uh, I, I guess don't be sometimes vulnerable I with also everyone, though. worry That's I can't bad. live up to my brother's image. I guess. Well, we're not in therapy. I meant like, <laughs> well, like in a and, business sense. And also sense. sometimes like I've actually been having a really hard time sleeping lately. I don't know. Uh, like, it's hard to get sleep. I'm not emotionally sleep. equipped to deal with this. Hard, like when I wake up, I don't feel rested. Okay. It's like, when does it end? You know, like. Okay, come here, Gene. It's like I, I go yeah, in. Oh, group hug. Uh, work, group hug, group hug, group hug. And then I wake oh, up I and I work. <laughs> <laughs> my, my rambling is muffled by like, like two I just, I just, Yeah, I just keep hugging me oh. and like, oh, she's going to be quiet soon. I have no, I'm not, I'm not emotionally <laughs> capable of <laughs> Handling this. <laughs> Please, I'm a 15 year old boy. Please roll compassion. Yeah, Please stop. roll har harmony, both of you. <laughs> no, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, six. Right. Okay. And Brent, please roll harmony for your hugging skill. Oh. Sorry, the NDP is just taking its feet time. But I think I roll pretty good. Shit. Oh, seven. Oh! Huh. You rolled a seven. That is a bad success. Uh, Gene, you do, in fact, slowly, slowly calm. Um, and it, it, it doesn't... You're not not panicking. You're just not vocally need to panic quite so much. All right. Okay. It's Other okay. than that, what happens is up to you. I like detangle myself. Like, ugh, thanks, guys. Anyways, has anyone ever had a business meeting before? Anyone? Not not ever. Any of us? I've never had a job. You're my first boss. Yeah. Uh, I kind of had a job, but didn't count. And didn't have any like meetings or whatever. Yeah. Right. Uh. Well. It's just talking, though. It can't be that hard. Yeah, it's just chatting. It's just talking. Yeah. yeah. What are they going to do? Talk back? Uh, well, that, that's a conversation. That's kind of, oh, that, that yeah, that's how it's... They, I would hope they talk back, if anything. Yeah, can you imagine if we just talked out? Like, blah, 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 <laughs> imagine if they just, just said... <laughs> yeah, imagine if they just said, just talk, and then we had to talk for two hours. I would die. <laughs> yeah, that actually sounds pretty hard. I, I have no idea how people talk for two or three hours at a time non-stop without doing anything else forever. Mm. Well, imagine if there were just, you know, three or and four And to a silent them. audience, too? I don't yeah. get it. I don't That'd understand really how strange. someone could... It's like getting up on an Apple box and just yelling to nothing for a while and, and hoping someone... Imagine if they had to, like, like, tell a story or something. Um, that would be stupid. Uh, my, Come on, um, who does that? My nose is bleeding, so we should move on. <laughs> <laughs> well, mm. I presume over the next... It, it's going to take you about two days to get there. It, it's not that far away, and you do still have the war chickens. Um, they are currently being kept in stable by the insane old man at mm. the BCF. 
You bloody telling us the one shots yes. were cannon? Yeah. <laughs> the one shots were in fact cannon. They are now prequels. Mm, bloody oh, hell! Oh, well, you know. <laughs> yep. yep. Alrighty. All that was law, and you better. Remember. I'm not gonna lie. I I I was so tired that day. I do not remember most of that game. <laughs> <laughs> you purchased chicken and killed a spirit. That's basically that was, everything. That and, happened. and there was a lot of there was a lot of sheep. I remember. You had a sheep. A, yeah. You had a sheep. You purchased a sheep. I tried to offer a sheep to a spirit, you. didn't I? You did. You tried. Oh, man. You tried to offer a sheep to a group of spirits that were surrounding you menacingly. And then you took the sheep back. Well, they didn't want the sheep, sheep, so why am I going to waste a perfectly good sheep? You anyway, still have is the that sheep? out of my conscious anymore? Anyway. You do not oh, still have the sheep. Damn it. Uh, but, but we have you... little chickens. I missed that sheep. The meeting itself is going to be taking place in a week. You have five days until you absolutely need to set off. But when you leave, is basically up to you. Do you guys think we should, like... Dress up the chicken, like, 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 like make them nice. Like, put them in a suit. Yeah, because it's, it's not. Oh it's their, yeah, it's cats. they like they like That's the chickens. Good idea. I think that'd be really cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. get like, some how, fancy chickens. How cool chickens. would it be if people like, oh yeah, I really like this animal, and then like I wanna, four I wanna people match mine. brought giant ones. I want to like match Wait. my chicken. Hold on, like, get, get, give me some threads. I was gonna say, like, aren't shouldn't we also dress nice? Yeah, look. Oh, I'm okay. matching. So, so um, I can't remember what I called my chicken, but wow, I'm gonna I'm, a, a, I'm gonna come on riding a shopping them and episode then, real and quick, then, and then I'm gonna wear the same threads. Like, I'm sure I've got something around somewhere. Well, um, you knowing guys, knowing full well that I do. This is this is for work meeting. So, if we if we need to buy anything, it could be classified under you know like business expenses. You tell us. Speaking of business expenses. Um, the poultry 500 gold pieces that you had last time um, has mostly actually gone away because you used a bunch of it to pay off the uh, small business debts that you have accrued. Oh. But you have now made money too. So you're How much currently money? sitting at about... How much you're money? currently sitting at about seven to 800 as a household. Uh, but Eight? that's, that's I just know. over... Uh, <laughs> This is not how big that is. This is just nobody so does this. This game. Like, how does this world's enough, economy, does economy operate if no one knows currency. what the money's worth? Oh God. This we game have a has business no to not know how we do it. Okay, I'm going to go to the shop and I want to buy a very nice hat and a chicken suit and I'm going to hand them five gold. Does that get me it? It gets you several. <laughs> We've worked out the value of the chicken suit. Exactly five monies. Or several. That will cost you money. Ah. All right. Guys, the chicken suits are going cheap. I think they're on sale. Oh, Wait, did you, say, did you say Can a suit like... for, for a chicken? Or yeah, a chicken, a chicken that makes you look like a suit? Uh, look like a, a chicken. You mean like a me a, a chicken? No, no. I want the chicken to be fancy. Oh, I Although see. Although it would, yeah. it would, it would be funny if I came dressed as a chicken and the chicken came dressed as me. Or if you were dressed as the chicken in a tux. I'm gonna go with the first option if I want to make the ah, chicken look fancy, enough. and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Can I assume that I've got some some nice clothes sit, sitting somewhere around? You do indeed. Okay, um, I'm gonna. You. I'm, you have two sets of really nice clothes, actually. Um, you have one set that uh, Jean actually purchased everyone a really nice set of clothes, oh. basically from your first big contract. Yeah. Um, it, it was basically tailored business suits for everyone sort of deal. Ooh. Nice uh, but you also, have, you also have a really dusty and significantly more expensive set of clothes that you haven't worn in over almost two years. Okay, I, I want to wear those. Like, I want to have my, I want to have like a mix between the two. So I want to have like the flowing robes of the older ones mixed with like the, the modern style of the newer ones. And then I want to go out and I, I want to say I bought these ones, but what I really did was buy a nice hat and the chicken suit. I see. Okay. Um, the hat's going to run you 10 gold. 
10 gold for hat, get a chicken suit, five gold, multiple chicken suits, five gold, 10 gold for hat? Yep. What a world. All right. If God. you're going to make fun of this financial system, so am I. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway. That's fine. I don't care. <laughs> you're in charge of it. <laughs> Gonna be a, there's gonna be a line somewhere. Oh. We found it. It's ten gold for hats and five gold for chicken suits. Rideable chickens, if, I would might add. If I recall, I sold you four rideable war chickens for twelve gold. Yes, that's correct. Anyway, that, that sounds right. Only. All right, that sounds so. Fair. Tai Lung returns home wearing a fine, flowing, freshly laundered uh, silken robe with. Tylan, do you actually wear the um, the signet of your house, or do you Not take that part all. off? Took that off. All Took right. that off. All right. I With would disrespect a... it further if I could. I, I mean, you could. You could put something else on there instead. I do. I want to put my name tag for my job. <laughs> all right. So, so in, in, yeah. in, instead of your own family's brand, you, you have... Um, the emblem, the emblem of the uh, the Chahi Industrial Company. Yeah. And Tai Lung scrawled in big fancy lettering on the front. Yeah, and it says Tai Lung, uh, and it's on like a big. It's on like a little like like the name tag itself is maybe like a tiny tiny firecracker, as well. Like and, in an uh, emergency situation, I like pull it off and. At someone. And underneath it says Employee of the Month. Oh yeah. I don't know if it means anything. I still call bullshit. (laughs) That's that's yeah. That that means literally nothing. It's basically we all have employee of the month underneath. Yeah, no. I look at all of us and I'm like, we really should actually formalize what makes us good at the job. (laughs) The fact that you're no, no, no. If if we business isn't dying, if the chicken lady sees that we've all got like employee of the month, then uh, clearly we're good at what we do. She doesn't Lily, have to know what all, we do. Oh, she just Lily, needs to know that we're good are, at it. Okay. You are all the best person yeah, in your department yeah, yeah. for the month. Oh, okay. I want to be logistics and planning. If they ask us, what's our role? So I'll be logistics and planning. I mean, okay, my job here is security. So. All right. So you, 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 you're in charge of like the warehouse and security. So yeah, you're like so. the stock, stock inventory. Inventory and security? He's, he also does a transport. Ah. Oh. Like, he, he, he lifts heavy stuff, like loading up carts and often dragging carts for some arcane reason. Mm. Just a lot of getting stuff to and from masons and artisans, you know. At, and then, um, uh, what's Pan's job? Uh, Pan is... Marketing. Her, her, her official HR, maybe? So she is in charge of marketing, but she is also officially titled as Chief Undersecretary to the CEO, um, which basically means she is the company um, errand boy. Okay. Uh, but but that is her her official job. But she mostly does like standing in front of the in front of the stall and hawking you to people and that sort of thing. Marketing. And and, and Riley media. is our intern. Yeah. Riley is your intern. Are we bringing Riley with us? Bring no, Riley is no, Riley's Riley is oh. Riley is escorting Pan. <coughs> okay. Okay. And I they should be back in a about idea, a week. Okay. So in, in fact, no. They shouldn't be back in about a week. They they should be on their way back in about a week, and they should be meeting. Sorry, I have something in my throat. It's okay. <coughs> they should be heading through uh, Kang Bumawe at about the same time that you are on their way back to oh, you. Oh, cool! We can meet oh, them nice there. Say hi. Yeah. Hmm. Um. And, and then, Gene, you're like the everything else person. So if there's not a job that gets listed, I guess it's, um, you get to, you get to choose who does what and also do it. Yeah. That's, uh, you know, like classic delegation. That's the, that's the boss. Yeah. Yeah. That's the boss thing. Okay, cool. Yeah. So now we know what we're going to say to them. If we get asked, I'm ready to go. Yeah. Other than that, I'm ready to go. Otherwise, I Pretty wish much. that I had jeans, girl. <laughs> girl. Chat, <laughs> dude. 
Yeah, I, um, I also what? buy stuff to look neat and maybe like have like the the tops all bounce alike, but then have the sleeves like ready to fucking rip off. Yeah, all right. they got like oh, zips so, in them. So you're actually wearing like tearaway clothes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Um, I. It's like if one of the guys from Street Fighter wore a wore a business casual. Um, Gene is definitely wearing like what a fifteen year old boy thinks is fancy clothes. Okay, so like I'm imagining you shorts. basically wearing um, Richie Rich's casual clothes. Oh well, yeah. I think tux, but mm -hmm. cash. Where, uh, so like a tux, a bit but overdressed, if anything, actually. Is it just a tuxedo shirt? <laughs> it's a tux. It's like a tux. <laughs> casual yeah. cashmere. Oh yeah, I was thinking oh, like yeah. he, like he has suit pants, except they're like shorts versions, so they're like knee high suit pants. No, they're the full length, but with mm. zips, like at the knee. Oh boy. In case yep. it gets warm, I can take them off. Oh no. Yep. You do do that. Oh yeah. But look. I do that. What do my adults do? They talk it's about the weather. World, they Jean. know about the weather, and if it gets too warm, they take off the bottom of the pants. Yeah, it's no, nice. I'm all. I dude, I love it. I think it looks so and, cool. But and, have you ever been? Have you ever talked to rich people before? Personally, handmade um, ballroom shoes, <laughs> like wheels and ankles. <laughs> Incredible. So, so the key to talking to people like this, guys, is you just you you gotta you gotta fake it till you make it. Okay. So you just like you just you like if they if they if they ask you something you don't know what's going on you just say whatever you say with like confidence yeah, and then and well, then hey. all right yeah all right okay, okay so confident yeah yeah I know cool. so like when we you know how you know how we like we got into the the other place remember the fireworks thing we were just like yeah, yeah. like that exactly like that right oh 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 yeah yeah I remember that okay cool uh yeah yeah I'm no, supposed I, to look I, tough though right because I'm like security dude you're so tough. Oh, thanks, man. That's why. That's why you're secure. That's why you're the guy. You're the. You're the beefcake. You stand behind us, uh, and then if they start giving a slip, you just be like, like come up from yeah, the back there. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. But like, maybe right. they'll, they'll probably ask you questions anyway, though. Oh shit. All right. Um, do you buy a good set of clothes for Pan to change into? Yes. All right. Um, um, as a group, what do you get? Or just Jean? Uh, what's, uh, what's, what's Pan's style? And also Riley. Do you and get also, would we, would we have noticed what her style is? Yeah, what's Pan's style? Are they like, are they like boss? Are they like girl boss? Or are they like... Well, they like fire. they like dresses? Like, what's, what's the, what's the That's vibe? It's a secret. You know what? Secret. You know fire, I so maybe we should like. I don't think we should advertise that. that if if they're scared. Yeah, no. Or we. Uh, well, okay. Well, maybe you can like do fireworks. Non flammable that's... fabric. Non flammable fabric would we be a very it good idea. Blue, because oh. no one would expect someone in a blue dress to be doing fire. That's fair. That's true. Yeah, this like they, they think um, they're like a waterbender. I was gonna say, like, what about like girl boss suit? You know, like, like just power suit, intimidate. Like a pants suit, yeah, yeah, with the yeah shoulder pants pads. suit, yeah, yeah, absolutely. What's a shoulder pad? It's like a, a it is literally just a pad on your shoulder that you know, keeps like it the 80s, stiff. Like suit? it stiffens. Oh, I mean, slightly. I was in character. I was in character. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's okay. Just making sure, I'm like Matt. Yeah, I'm yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just doing a bit. Like, my God, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. I, I'll do it a bit. Right, so uh, so pantsuit with shoulder pads. I don't think I've ever. Rohan just like, I trust you. I trust pads. you. Uh, look, all young professional all right. uh, women wearing that. Okay, and what do you get for Riley? Big ass umbrella. <laughs> uh, we like big ass he's umbrella. He's holding like a like a, a parasol, parasol for all yes. of us. Because he's one. our assistant, he should be shielding. Because the rich yeah. people don't like the okay. sun, right? Okay, so so show? sort of a cafe size parasol, yeah. like for outdoor tables. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He lifts a cafe Riley's size strong, parasol. I think. Uh, probably not. He's pretty weak. By my assessment. 
We'll, yeah, we'll attach yeah. it to like sh like <laughs> shoulder, like a backpack. He's gonna look like. Hold on, is he gonna look like too much like a like a servant though? If we he's strap a literal sleeper. umbrella to a human. I like. Do rich people I mean, still have servants? Yes. I want to say yes. Would, like, do you yeah. think that would like make them? That made them be more comfortable around us if they're like oh, yeah but if we're treating if we're treating also... riley bad i don't want to treat riley bad though that's the no, problem that's no, he's, he's... we should like get riley. him okay okay i say we should get him like like clothes that look kind of look like rowan's actually and yeah. then just in case we do decide to play up like a slave animal we'll just get like a like a potato sack or something i don't know what slaves wear i don't we know like well, ser servants usually wear normal clothes. All right. Well, then we'll just tell Riley to wear his normal clothes under a suit, just in case. We'll just like dirty him up a bit or something. Yeah, in case I don't know. Do I have interns? They probably don't pay their interns, so we need to make him look then, like an unpaid intern. If you want to change the impression that you give mid-meeting, you can go over to Riley and rip his clothes off to reveal the intern underneath. Yeah, like yeah God, good. that sounds good. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. It, it's like an intern unboxing. <laughs> yeah. That could be a well, thing. I was just thinking, like, we'll, we'll go yeah. into the city. Like, once we get into the city, we'll just see what it's like. Like, what kind of vibe do we pick up? And then plan it. It's all right. It's only okay. So. Sure. It's uh, only okay. Yeah. I think, I think Riley should match me so we can, like, you know, stand on either side. <sighs> How much right? money do we oh, have okay. left? At this point... Uh, probably about 750 gold. Let's buy Riley, uh, opposite angle. Riley is now a rival investor, and he's come to the meeting as well to, like, hike up the cost, and we'll get him, like, a hippopotamus turtle or something, or, or a, like, a fishopotamus that he rides on, like a big saddle, yeah, and then he can be like, like who, who wants to buy my investment out of under my nose? And and then and then that'll like cause a price war, and then we'll get a better price. Is that well, how yeah, people work? like he could he could be like you know like good cop bad cop. Okay. Like he could be yeah, like yeah, the bad good your... investor, better investor. Yeah, yeah. Your first your first ever professional interaction, and you're already <laughs> attempting to perform business <laughs> fraud. What? There's no laws that I know of that are against this. I don't know any better. I'm I haven't done being, this before. It's very illegal in Australia. Yeah, but we're not in Australia. <laughs> we're in Avatar it's, World. It's true. This so is true. What are they doing? Spirits going to get mad at us? <laughs> They'd probably be like, mm, well played. You are Trixie. I mean, some of them probably. Maybe. I have no idea. <laughs> anyway. Uh, all right. So you go and you... Find yourself at an exotic animal. God, we're uh, doing this. Emporium. <laughs> if you recall, in one of the uh, one of the episodes, uh, Ang set up sort of a, a zoo outside yeah. passing say for all the people. I know animals. exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. And you actually you go there. Um, and you find, you know, there's there's the tiger elephants, there's the uh, dragon scorpions, there's the uh, fire-breathing lava bears, there's the goldfish panthers. Uh, there's a bunch of things. Name a combination of animals and you'll probably find it here. What do you look for? Well, I'm thinking something like... What do you What do you guys reckon? I'm thinking something like big, so they can like tower over people, but also something that's not going to go out of control and try to eat people that they don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like a like a moose bunny. Yeah. <laughs> Is it they're gonna be too hyper? <laughs> well, I mean, we could jump really fast to get away if we need to. Moose bunny. It is now apparently canon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, saying does... words, guys. You gotta help. Yeah. You gotta <laughs> just stop anyone... me. <laughs> does anyone know if like? Are business meetings safe? And like, do we need to like prepare ourselves? I mean, I'm prepared for you. For war. I know, but well, we've got the war chickens for that. That's why they've got war in their name, right? Like, they'll That's know right. what to do if a war yeah, breaks I'm, out. I'm just, look, I just thought I'd open up a conference. Okay, that's like so. That's got to be like the instincts, right? Otherwise, why would they call them war chickens? 
you're, you're right. As, you're right. As you we are don't having worry. this conversation, you are being led over to the Moose Bunny enclosure, and you find that, that unfortunately, it being the springtime, um, the Moose Bunnies are a bit active in a very particular way, and it oh. might not be the best purchase. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Um, I, can see, I can see my character sheet with other suggestions. What about a cat gator? A cat gator? <laughs> Whatever that oh, is. Hey, All right, so... I you say find... yes to that. You... Oh, I'm you sorry. You find <laughs> a roughly shoulder height to a human being, but about nine meters long. It is structurally fairly similar to a cat, I guess but it is scaled instead of fur in a sort of olive drab complexion. Um, and it does have an elongated snout, not particularly elongated, uh, somewhere in between cat and alligator. It, it's kind of like a dog snout by the look of it. Um, what about this one? Does it have the indifference it, of it a cat? Looks at you. It, it, it actually does. It looks at you. It lets out a quiet... At, and then sits down, spreads its legs, and starts licking, licking its thighs, and completely ignores you. Call me crazy, that's... but would you say that's intimidating? I feel like no. we can't even play it intimidating. Okay, never mind. What about an? What about um? What a uh, saber-toothed moose lion? A saber-toothed moose lion, you say? I'm pretty sure that's the thing soccer ah, that that's... mean by. That would be a good choice. They are always reliable. It's come oh, guys. Good. <laughs> guys. And separate moves on. Yeah, and good. you go. It's promising. And you find yourselves. A moose lion is a beast roughly half the size of a good-sized car. You know, a, a, a little smaller than a than a a single person's non-SUV. And it does, in fact, have giant saber teeth. But in all other respects, it is structurally a moose with a huge mane. Intimidating? But you are, in, you are informed that it is incredibly predatory and dangerous. Is this thing gonna, I, I go to the shopkeep. Is it going to eat us if we buy it? Oh, no. Is it trained? Very, they are very well trained. Mm. Can you show me? And he says, he, certainly. And he calls out, <laughs> Reginald! And the moose lion perks up. And it's Reginald. He, he reaches into a bucket by the fence and he pulls out this sort of beefsteak, or it would be beef in the real world, but this is probably, I don't know, otter it's fish. Probably, it's probably, yeah. And he, he holds out his forearm and he drapes the stake over his forearm. Good man. He's, 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 Reginald and the moose. Oh. Does not touch his arm. Cool. That's Quite dope. well cool. trained, don't you think? Yeah. Great. So, so we dress are? Riley up, cover him in a bunch of stakes. Well. And he rise in. To, I don't think the stakes will be boost. something that we need to cover, right? I think Riley can. Oh, like a steak just, suit. That looks. Do like cool. the idea of a meat suit, but I don't know if it because we don't want we don't want what's it called Reginald. Yeah, Reginald. Okay, I don't think we want Reginald like chasing Riley and eating Riley before we get there because we need Riley to like do stuff. Well, I, I thought that was like how you train him. As as long as you don't drape oh. Riley, as long as you don't drape Riley over your forearm, he won't register as. Food. Oh, so it's anything draped over the forearm that he thinks is food? No, I was joking. Okay, okay. Oh. That's, uh, yeah, you gotta work you on your me. delivery. I don't yeah, really, I don't really get that. That's not. And, and, and the, the zoo master just gives you a sad look. <laughs> Can we buy this animal yet? Yes, yes you may. Uh, it is, it is two gold pieces. Oh my god! <laughs> I turn around to the guys. I'm like, now crazy thought. Do we each want to get one? 
There are only two. Do we want to get both? And then Jean wants yours, you want so you, you, you could, like, ride one and then... Kind of attached to my chicken, not gonna lie. Like, I, uh, I want to be on the chicken because they, they're, they're the chicken people. They'll, they'll like that. I'm just your so surprised chicken, that a chicken costs your more. Your war chicken, Magnus, has now effectively saved one of your, one of your goods caravans while you were escorting it. Um, it actually has a habit of beating bandits back with its feet. Mm. How are uh, more chickens in water? Um, I think one's okay though. Not they float. Not great, not great. Um, they do float, but they, they don't swim. No, that's they fair. Don't. I'm saving they sort my of flail. I'm saving my paychecks to get an aquatic battle creature, but that's for I'm, me personally. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Well, okay, I mean, but, but we do we... have a selection of manta boars presently. Can we, we could totally put a pin on that. Can we put a deposit down on some manta, manta boars? Yeah, I'd we can love that, back but you don't have to. We've got enough. Yeah, it's two gold, man. It is indeed two gold. How uh, much are manta boars? A lot. What does that mean? Oh. <laughs> I will give uh, you one money per boar. Certainly. Come back in three months when the current batch is finished training. All right, down payment. Let's let's do it. Let's uh, do it. Uh, All right. Uh, they, they will be they will be ten gold pieces a piece as they are each aquatic. Oh, that's fair. But that's, that's okay. Not- I'm gonna have a an army. You wish for, for well, we we only have a bit of training staff. We only we only produce two at a time. No, no, no. I'm sorry, I was just imagining out loud to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, sure. We'll, we'll put a deposit down on 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 four of them. Four of them ma- mandibles. Certainly, the first when? ones will be ready in three months. The others will be ready in two years. Two years? I... Why? Because they take a year and a half to train. Oh, I want to race them now. <laughs> there are indeed flying creatures, Serum. I'm bored of these mantis. Does the mantibore fly too? Uh, no, the mantibore doesn't fly. However, um, the axa falcon, which is an axolotl mixed with a falcon, oh does. Oh my god, fly. that's awesome. Or is that both aquatic and flying? Uh, Please. unfortunately, it is only flying. It can breathe underwater, <laughs> but it can't swim. Hmm. All right, guys, guys, I say we just get one, uh, we just get Reginald, because, I mean, I mean, realistically... I thought we already bought Reginald. I was going for other stuff, man. Yeah, we don't... You we just have, in fact, one. already purchased Reginald. Yeah, I'm walking down the street uh, Unfortunately, I'm, I'm they don't sell urchin mammoths. <laughs> They're too dangerous. Urchin mammoths. Yeah, no, they don't sell them. They're too poisonous. They're too pointy. Extremely pointy. They're lying Delicious around. People keep stepping on them. Yep. Yeah, I'm disenfranchised anyway. at the thought of a six, six, two year wait to have all of our boars. So I take Reginald <laughs> and I sadly walk down the street. You dejectedly walk down the street with your freshly purchased saber toothed moose. No, we are not getting pets, Serum. I think we already no. have. <laughs> like our pets are battle creatures. What's our the battle enemy? No. The battle I animals play... already outnumber the party, and it's episode one, Sarah. I want. I want to play Avatar Legends. Got to catch them all. <laughs> <laughs> There's a spin-off in that. Yeah. Oh no. All right, Av- um... Avatar Legends uh, Crystal so, Vision. Uh, the the per- and characters, please add a manta uh, receipt to your inventory. Yes. <laughs> and, and remind me that you will acquire it before the next episode. Alrighty. manta oh hell yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> go straight up to Riley. I'm like, hey, Riley, put these clothes on. You're writing this. <laughs> 
You know Wait, what? No, we are not, we're not with Riley, right? He'd probably no, be enthused, but you won't be seeing him for another week or so. Damn it. Yeah, all right. Yeah, he's oh. in um, Mawu. Keep in mind yes, when I see him in, in Mawu. Mawu. All right. Do you have any more preparations to make? Uh, I, uh, I guess what can't we can, well, Yeah. yeah so what, what can we do? What, is it supplies or stuff like that? Or um, There is supplies. Um, there's shoring up your business here and making sure that everything keeps on ticking over while you're away. Uh, you yeah. can have a word with the uh, the fireworks guy and just get him to keep an eye on the business for you or something. Yeah, can I also I'll also get him to write like like a reference as my first investor to be like, oh yes, I was paid back. Oh, a, a sort of a yeah. Okay, you go to him uh, and he gives you a, a very, very proud, actually very proud smile and pats you on the shoulder, and he says, I have one written up already. And he goes into the back and he brings it out. And there is this page and a half long, glowing reference about how each payment was done promptly and to a greater degree than was actually required because you actually paid him 10% more than he paid you um, and than he was expecting back. That's really cute. Um, and he is, it's not written down, but he tells you, you did very, very well, Jean. I'm glad. Good luck with Jean this. Jean is clammy once more. <laughs> the, the clams are back. Um. You can do it. And he heads back inside, uh, uh, leaving you with the, the recommendation letter. Wait, can I, I'll quickly give him a hug and then like, run away with my head down, just avoiding eye contact. He hugs you back, sort of tussles your hair. Mm. Right, bye. Wait, 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 wait. Does this count as a business meeting? Uh, what, this one here? Yes. Oh, fuck. No, no, but the one where you paid me my investment did. Right. Yeah, thanks, bye. Bye. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> camping supplies and trap supplies, wasn't it? That was the last thing on your list. BCF yeah. man. So, Minimize unfortunately, the time BCF man. <laughs> you return, unfortunately, Do we still have, the beast. Would we, would we not have the camp equipment that we had last time? You do, but you, you've kind of eaten all the food. Oh, I mean, yeah, we can and also just, we have Riley now. It's been like a year, can, by the way. It yeah, has been a year. Been. We can just skip the scene. No. Yeah, I'm good to go. <laughs> yeah, we can just grab our stuff. <laughs> all righty. Um, so as much as I love I do, I do want to know, I do mm. want to know, has BCF guy finally found somebody? <laughs> He could pour his attention to in the year. Um, yes. Become more of a loser. <laughs> and, and that's actually kind of where you found Riley. Like, he was actually oh, this no. guy's employee. <laughs> and then um, we poached him? Found, you found him in the like, Dude, you do not want to work just sort there. Of, just standing over the counter, eyes glazed over while this guy talked and talked and talked. And oh, no. you could you could tell that there was a bit of a problem because you snapped your fingers in front of his face to no response, despite the fact that he was fully awake. Uh, and you offered him an out. Which is why he's so loyal. Yeah, he's a good bud. Oh no, he's like Stockholm. Mm. <laughs> we didn't kidnap him. We've offered him employment. Uh huh. Sure, uh, he sure. Now, he now has a new old, uh, a new person to um to occupy his time. The BCF clerk. Um, he's actually found a a similarly aged man, and a similarly insane man, and they are just constantly bickering and arguing and fighting 
It seems to be working rather well for them. Ah, perfect. Oh, good. We'll just take this butt. <laughs> and they I both attempt to make you stay, but um, yes, you do have to pay him uh, 27 gold. Sure. Yeah. And you go. And he, you, you, you hit the road. Yeah, you're, you're out. You're gone. Um, you have five days travel time. What are you doing on the road? Just going or what? I'm definitely bored enough to try and invent a new game. And it's right. uh, the game. The, the game. I'd like the game would just be like the first thing I see on the horizon, and I'd be like, "All right, the next one of those to come up." You gotta give me. You gotta give me like something to do, or I gotta give you something to do. If it doesn't happen, so like I gotta dare you to do something. So next time, so next time, next time you see a jaggy overpass over in the mountain like that, roll it. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta go. You gotta. Well, first off, you gotta bathe um, Reginald. Then second. You gotta do a dare. But we can keep the dare for later. We can save the dare. Alright, but if it's not a if it's a like a mini lake first that we yeah. get to, uh oh. you have to get me a sheep. Oh, that's no problem. I'll do that. I'll get us both the sheep. Yeah, can get I all also, of us a sheep. I also have a sheep. That's, that's yeah, I'll get everybody a sheep. Riley, you want a yeah. sheep? Yeah. Riley's not here. Riley's not here. I'll get Riley a sheep too. I'll get Panda <laughs> sheep. Riley has not been here at all the entire time. I just miss I'm Riley so much. Why, I'm confused as to why you are making this mistake. He is literally... I just miss Riley. Been... You do indeed. He's a cool, he's a cool, he's a cool lad. He, he is a cool boy. Yeah. Anyway, okay. So, so Gene, you want in on this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On what's next? What's what comes horizon. up next in the in the landscape, and then what yeah. what do you get if you what happens? Uh, uh, if, what's if coming you up? See a see a big tree that looks like it has a face. That's so specific. What a gamble! Yeah, you know, like I, I thought we were playing seriously. Come on, I can't just. Be I said seriously. like a jaggy overpass in the mountain. He said a lake. Like a that, lake. that could. All right, a big tree then. May or may not have a face. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What do you, what what do you, do you want us to do? Yeah. Uh. 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 Oh, I didn't think this far. Oh. I didn't think I. I made the bit as I was talking. <laughs> kept going until something yep. happened. Uh. If. <laughs> hmm. Uh. If we find it, then you have to go along with my idea of like the sign spinning in town. Remember that? That oh, plan? No, that you guys I really don't hate? know. Okay, fine. If we uh, see a big tree that looks like it has a face no, in I'll it, no, I'll do it. I just don't then like. Then you it. have to do the sign spinning. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what's Rowan got to do then? Well, you can all do it. We can use more hands. We can oh, use okay. more signs Fuck. to spin. Yeah. <laughs> you got to spin a sign. No, I didn't you have big arms, you can't you? spin a sign. You're gonna be just like, oh, I got my muscles are too big. I can't spin the sign very well. You know what? I, I'm, I'm rowing. Gonna win. It's like, I'm I rowing. don't have to spin a sign. Look at me, right, I can't you know spin what? a sign. <laughs> you tried it once. I just um, lean in closer. <laughs> on the very first spin, he pulled and just tore the sign in half. <laughs> <laughs> the second but time he did it, he like the, the half that stayed in his hands Span. I'm thinking like the second time he did it, he actually, he like, he spun it so hard he let go by accident. And it was like one of those toys that you pull the ripcord and it's just like, like just flying off into the air. Like it just yep. took flight. Like a Beyblade? Like... Yeah, yeah, almost like yeah. a Beyblade. Or a sh shuriken. And yeah. you actually found the other half, the other half of the sign uh, embedded in some guy's cabbages. Hmm. He was quite pissed off. Look, I don't want to talk about that. I also, really why does cabin. he only invest in one type of produce? That makes no sense to me. 
Yeah, you should really talk to farm and market to to see if you can get it on the table easily. Mm. Yeah. Ah, Winter's Tales. Yeah. Have you returned. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. So we can stop postponing so that we can actually get Pan back on stream. That's all right. Oh, well, they're going to have a little they're going to have a little outfit change and then they'll drop I in. I wasn't first. I wasn't even yeah, stalling. They're, they're still just changing. Shenanigans. Just having Let shenanigans. us know we when you're good. Who wins? So we got to. Well, we could do that. We could do our little little bit here. Absolutely. Then, yeah. uh, everyone, please roll a d6. Oh shit! A d6. Uh, the highest, the highest number is the one who guessed correctly. Just a single Fuck. d6, hey? God, God damn it! Shit! Oh come on! Oh, I have oh, to beat two. Oh, oh come on! Come on, baby! <laughs> Did I? No. <laughs> I can't see his roll. I can't see his roll. <laughs> Who won? I am the king of the luck. Tai Lung wins. Yeah, this ain't it, but put a mat 20 in the chat. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> so, oh, I was like, there's no way you can so... lose, Dan. <laughs> what the Plus, so here's what oh, happens. I want that moment preserved forever. Oh. You, you oh. pass into <laughs> this, this oh, thick, God. dense forest. <laughs> and you are looking you are looking for a big tree a big tree but it is all Dragon, saplings dragon, dragon over for, for the, hours and hours and hours and none and of then, the trees have faces oh. none of the trees have faces and dan you're looking for a for an, a river or, or a lake a lake but, yeah but hours of traveling and all you all you pass over is just this one trickling stream and then oh. the tree line breaks for a brief moment, and you see the ridge of a distant mountain oh. and an overpass. And you, like, I'm walking ahead, and you see this. You, you see, like, my eye, like, my eyes widen, and you like. <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! Oh. And unfortunately, do... unfortunately, this means that he has won, so you must now face your penalties. You know what that means. He doesn't have to do anything. <laughs> I get two dares. And I can, remember I said I could pocket these. I could pocket yeah, I thought, these dares for later. I thought it um, was bathing Reginald in one dare. Well, there's, well I didn't realize that Gene was also gonna play. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fair. Okay, All right, no, I'll let you fine. decide. One of you has to bathe Reginald, and the other gives me a dare. I died. Uh, I, I take the I dare. I, I, if you want to wash uh, Reginald, he kind of scares me, to be honest. Okay, I'll wash Reginald. I'm kind of afraid what he was gonna say for a dare, so I'll wash Reginald happily. Perfect. I'm not. I'm not doing the dare now. It's for later. That's, I can take it. I'm real I'll put tough. that in my pocket. I write down on a piece of paper, like real, in like incredibly nice cursive. Mm -hmm. uh, tai Lung gets one dare from Gene. All right. Please add to your inventory one dare from Gene. It's in like calligraphy <laughs> and everything. I'm like, dude, why do you have to write it all fancy like that? What the hell? What do you mean? It's Are my, you that's my handwriting that during the meeting. Oh, right. I get what you're doing. You're you're practicing to blend in with the rich people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. This absolutely oh, look, wasn't the so handwriting dedicated. that was... This wasn't the handwriting that was systematically bullied into him over the course of 12 years. Not at all. No. Uh, it's like, look, that's real <laughs> dedicated. You know what? This is why you're the best in your department. It's like riding a bike. Sometimes you just can do it. <laughs> I try yeah. and do it. That is how bikes work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can just ride it. I try and, and, then, and ride then... pretty. Yeah. Um, yeah, sometimes so, it works. So that dare, I'm going to hold on to that, if that's okay. And then I'll bring it up when I feel like it. Well, those are the rules of the game. Go for it. That's the rules. All right. You, you have one unbreakable dare from Gene. <laughs> I'm gonna make use of that at some point. I now suddenly regret my decision. <laughs> yes. I'm very excited. Oh, no, you should. 
Don't be scared for Tai Long. Be scared of what Matt will think of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, man. I like this game. Uh, Winter's yeah. Tales, are you awaiting an acceptance of your of your chat invite so that you can join the stream? Let us know. Because I just realized Josh the Pirate has control of the stream and he's muted everything. So the okay. person waiting yeah. to Yarr. put Pan back on is AFK. <laughs> All I'm good. sure Arvintis will get to us. Let's keep talking until we see someone Yeah, we'll on. keep talking. Indeed, so. <laughs> All Still right, do you, do, you, do you think, like, like, like we need to pretend to be richer than we are? I think isn't that a thing? Like, like, like uh, rich people like to one-up each other? Because we've got um, Riley posing as the other investor. Um, I was going to say, just like, make sure to to be polite and and you know they're gonna treat us as like we don't know anything because we're young and, how, how polite yeah. are we talking like they're gonna expect us to be really polite to them really polite yeah right you but can see they, the cogs turning in his head and it is not but good. like <laughs> if they if they suspect that we're trying to kiss their butt they're gonna they're gonna use that to their advantage like if they can smell that we're desperate at all and, and and too eager, they're gonna give us a bad uh, a bad deal. All right, but so polite, but not brown nosing. Yeah, and like Ugh. that's why I said fake it till you make it because if you can fake it till you make it, then I I think you could you could very well you know prove to them that we know how to do business. So if we if we're like if we accept that like don't don't accept the first offer, I think. Yeah, right. Oh, that's a good plan. That's really good. Oh my god! This yeah. Is, this is why uh, you're, yeah. You're, yeah. I just thought of that off the top of my head. Yeah. Just from you, just thought like you just think that. Yeah, yeah. Like, I just, that, The first time I've ever that ever had that conversation. You wow. know what? That's why you're an ideas man. Yeah, yeah I'm you're like the, the ideas man. Picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The I forgot what my job guy. at the company was, but I like that. I think it was ideas man. I don't know. I think it was like, it was like logistics I don't know. something. Yeah, planning. Yeah, logistics and planning. Oh, it was, yeah. <laughs> Ideas, man. I am literally, yeah, okay. This is why. I knew we made the right decision making you the ideas, man. No, oh, you're the boss. You're the boss. Yeah. To, but also to... your friend. Yeah, yeah. No, you, it's been, it's, 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 I'm, I'm glad. Me Bro, too. why do you look so uncomfortable? I just... Oh, I you're also that. my best friend. I didn't mean to leave you out, buddy. I'm sorry. Look. No, I was just thinking about. Uh, I see. So Pan is not your best friend. Uh, you're all my best friend. Well, it's it's a bit weird to call. We're Pan all best, best friends. Friend. I get it. We're no, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All yeah. You don't ever have to have one best friend. That's true. And you guys yeah. are you're my favorite friends. You know, you're you're the best. I would hope so. With I yeah. Yeah, I would hope so. Slash roommate slash colleague. <laughs> Did you see the basement that I built recently? Yeah, dude. It's so big. Fucking huge. I haven't been down there. Yeah, well, Rowan, you might see some people that might look like you again. They are stone. Um, but, but only half oh, of the basement. Oh, you haven't told them about the Rowan basement? Yeah. Well, it's only half of the basement's a training room, and all the dummies look like him. Yeah, I've been calling it the oh. Rowan room for a while. Yeah, no, I, me too. But I, yeah, I just wanted to bring it up. Like I expanded it, and um, that's the latest addition to it. You know, all these little, um, little U's everywhere. And sometimes I like to. So, <laughs> Pan, right? Pan came down the other day, and I was like, yeah. I'm gonna have some fun with this. And I, <laughs> when she walked in the room, <laughs> I made them all turn and look at her at the same time. And she Whoa. freaked out. She just ran upstairs Dude. screaming. Oh, that's why she was so upset. Yeah, <laughs> Is that yeah, she yeah, no, me? I, um, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, maybe. I thought it was hilarious. It was pretty good. It was a pretty funny prank. Yeah, I yeah. I that. <laughs> oh, so, good. as this conversation concludes, you reach the end of your first day of travel. Now, 
Tai Lung, knowing what you're heading towards, could you, um, on a scale of one, give me your level of stress? <laughs> I'm I'm trying to mask so hard. Like, I think I'm leaning further into my, you know, trying to not care about things more than ever. Uh, mm -hmm. Because I, I do not, I do not want to deal with a a uh, a bad time where we're going. Right. So trying uh, really hard not to think about it at all. Oh my god, not at all. I, I am trying of, to escape hard. Like if I can hide kind of, behind. Sorry. Kind of failing at it as well. Yeah, a little bit. I I was like I was literally like so every now and then I get a thought in my head going like I could totally just hide behind Reginald the whole time. And mm -hmm. just like, you know, obscure the vision with animals. All right. So, uh, Jean, Rowan, you both sleep relatively well. It's been a nice day's travel. It's been calm. It's been companionable. It's like Tyler, <laughs> however, you take a long time to get to sleep. And when you finally do, you have a dream that you haven't had for a very long, long time. And it's a memory. And you find yourself sitting back on your porch when you were 10 years old. And your father was sitting behind you. And, and your theoretical mother uh, the lady of the house was, was sitting beside you. And you were just watching the sun go down. And she was hurting you. Just carefully, slightly digging her fingernails into the backs of your wrists. Just, just little enough that your father wouldn't be able to see. And you let her do it because you knew that if you cried out, if, if you told on her, you wouldn't be able to prove it because she wasn't doing it hard enough to leave a mark. And if you tried, she'd do something worse. And you wake up in the, in the middle of the night and you spend a while just staring at the ceiling of your tent. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go on break. I hope you're all enjoying it so far. See you in about 10 minutes time. Uh, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We return to trauma, apparently. <laughs> it has been no time at all in the 10 minutes since we last saw you. However, we are shifting perspectives just slightly. We return now to Pan and Riley. If we could all have a quick silent round of applause to welcome AJ Winters, who is amazing. Mm, now then, Pan, you have been journeying with Riley for the better part of a week. And it's gone reasonably well. He, he, he's been a bit obvious. If, if if you mm. get my meaning, he he, yeah. a few lingering glances, a few brushing his arm against yours, just just for the for the momentary contact. <laughs> uh, uh, a couple of huh, little things. Mm -hmm. Okay obviously debating with himself on whether he can get away with sleeping in the same tent or set up his own one, you know, that sort of thing. Mm. And 
you are heading towards the city of session notes uh, i love that place yeah i know right the it's city so of vibrant notes. there yeah yeah they're beer festivals it's amazing goodness <laughs> sake where are you there it is mawu kangba mawu um oh mawu yeah yeah and He's just making conversation with you on the road on your way in. You know, what 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 kind of things do you like to do for you know fun, uh, Pan? Like like, what do you do when you're not at work? Um, I like painting. Oh oh, are you good? No. <laughs> no. Uh, me neither. But I, I, I guess that's not a thing I, I try to do. I, I like sports, you know, uh -huh. the, 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 like kickball and, and and base stick. I'm really good at base stick. You, you could you could come and watch sometime, I, I guess. But sure, you know, uh, I like active things. You know, manly things. You know, <laughs> I'm, I, yeah. And he I looks away. Fully aware that he's completely failed I, and and hiding his shame. I think that's really cool. Um, I I'd love to come see you play bass stick. That is indeed what he said. Um, and and he looks he looks back forward on the road, no longer hiding his face, and you can see he's still blushing, and he's now just sort of grinning slightly. And as you're walking, you can you you feel him try to hold your hand. Are we walking? Or are you we are indeed. Okay, we're walking. I thought we were on like mounts of some kind, <laughs> but we're walking. Now, for um, the moment, you're walking. Oh, this may kick me in the butt later. But I'm gonna hold his hand. Oh. Okay. Okay, his blush deepens significantly. Um, and, and he, he, that grin becomes a lot bigger. And, and it's like, you know that thing where someone is so excited that their eyes get just a little shiny? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that. And then, you know, about 10 minutes later, just a single bead of sweat. <laughs> is his, like, is his hand sweaty too? Like, you know, when you get... Oh, extremely. As a kid, Slight it's like clammy. Ew. Slightly sweaty, and, and he's, he's fidgeting with his fingers a lot. Like, he's, he's alternating squeezing and utterly loose. <laughs> mm-hmm. I I continue holding his hand. I have I think Pan has like a mix of embarrassment and like blush. Like she she wants to be into it, but it doesn't feel right. It's like a very awkward should I be doing this? Should I not be doing this situation? So I think she's avoiding eye contact at this point and just kind of like staring at the ground and trying not to think about his clammy hands. Okay. So it is, in fact, making her hardly uncomfortable. Um, I will. No, go. I don't know. I don't know if go she's mildly it. uncomfortable. She's just like questioning her choices. <laughs> I see. Like, there's a lot of self doubt going on. Like, should I be doing this? I, I really, I really like Jean, but Jean doesn't like me. So should I like move on to Riley or like, but he's so mm -hmm. annoying. So. Mm -hmm. And Riley is just <laughs> as a, as a point of context, uh, built very similarly to how Jean would have been built at the same age. Um, he's mm -hmm. incredibly weedy and rather short and doesn't look like he's played a good game of, of I, I think it was base stakes in his life. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I just go with it, I go with it. 
you go with it. And you arrive in the city, and you had you had for your pre-scheduled accommodation, and switching over. Tai Lung, Jean, Rowan, you are waiting yeah. at the Broken Bar Sign, a tavern in. Come on, it was right there. Tai Lung, you lived here. Mawu, Mawu. Wonderful. Don't say Mawu. Um, you are. You are at the broken bar sign in Mawu, and you are waiting for your uh, associates to arrive. And you see Pan, hand in hand with Riley. And he is loving it. I lean, I lean over to Ron, I'm like, what happened there? Yeah, what happened there? You, sound, you don't sound pleased about that that's cool that's, that's great pan you for some reason you can see the Stop you can see the others me. pan um i let go of riley's hand <laughs> he, he I think I make all doesn't resist he, with jean and i'm like jean but he also he also doesn't help with with the separation he just sort of holds his hand there while you separate out and then just sort of awkwardly rubs the sweat off on his jeans. <laughs> um, and where's, where's the hand? Uh, God, how do I do an American accent again? Uh, hey, guys. Hey. Yeah. Oh, hey. 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 Uh, over here. Hey. Hey. We, we did the mission and he, he gestures to his back. Hey. Pack, which is mostly empty because Pan's carrying most of it. Hey. Great, great. Uh, good. Uh, hey. Pan, can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, um, Riley, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, I'm like, I pull sure. away and I'm just kind of like side and, and, Okay, um, Jean and Pan, would you guys like I'd go first, or should we do uh, sure. Rowan and Riley? Um, I get entirely <laughs> too close to Pan. I put my hands on her shoulders. I'm like, Pan, I have a really serious question to ask you. Yeah. And I need you to be honest with me. Mm hmm. Do you know what a business meeting is? Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. You do? Oh, yeah. Oh my god, I'm. Gene is so relieved. He hugs Pan. <laughs> He's like, oh, thank God. Okay, good. Because none of us know we're heading into a really big meeting right now. And you're like, you're in marketing. You're good with people. Can you help us out? Uh, yeah. I'm like grabbing you in the shoulder. like, can you help us out? Um, yeah, I, I, we can have meeting notes. And we could go in very professional. And Oh, man, and I didn't even think about notes. Oh, you're so smart. Oh, sorry, your hair got messed up. I'll, like, fix her hair. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Hang on, hang on. Okay. My hand is clammy and the hair is sticking to it, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> it's um, like... There, there we go. Uh, I think it looked better before. That's okay. Yeah, okay. Great. I'm so glad someone knows what a business meeting is. <laughs> yeah. And Pan, it, your hair's gelled now. It wasn't gelled before, <laughs> but it's gelled now. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh no, Gene! <laughs> Just have hoses in my head. Um, I I tie it up in a professional bun now that we're going into a business meeting, and I mm. I think Pan wants to say something about the Riley situation, but Gene doesn't seem to care. So I think Pan's like, yeah, um, yeah, um, business notes. Let me let me write some down, and then. You know, we can go in there headstrong and, and, you know, know what we're after and be able to yeah, negotiate. just like Tai Long said, thank you to the make it. Also, also, just, just to know about Riley. Uh, yeah, Riley, he's, um... Okay, we're, we're posing him, like, I don't know what you were going to say, but we're posing him as, like, a competitor investor. So, and I'm looking over at Riley, just... Just we gotta him let him fight against balls me. Of his feet. Yeah, we gotta make him look really bad. Like, 
like I'm like really rich but also really bad so then the other guys try to invest in us way more um I don't think it will be hard to make Riley look bad I mean <laughs> um he he we just oh, sh- um, I, I I'll talk to him I'll talk to him yeah I, you know, we'll make Are it happen. Are you sure? Because I can talk no, to him if you don't no, want to. No, 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 no. Um, oh, I didn't it. know you were that close with Riley. That's fine. If you want to do it, you can do it. That's cool. Since you're friends and all. Yeah, Riley and I are super close. I walk away. <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> Jean, you are, you are left with your thoughts, which undoubtedly you have. Um, um, so was Rowan with Riley? Uh, Rowan they and are, together, and then yeah, and then yeah, I was gonna go over to Tai Long, and be like, Tai Long's just standing there with all of the animals <laughs> by himself. All right, we will get to that in a moment. Then, <laughs> Rowan, uh, yeah, Riley, Riley heads over to you. Clearly giddy, extremely giddy, like dying to dying to brag about the day he's had. Yeah, good for him. I I, I walk in a direction. And I look back, and if he's not following, if he's not following me. We're gonna have more than just talks. Just so you all know, our tech serum has replaced uh, his banner image with just Riley must die. It's like all red as well. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like someone had to so kill you, Bill. You take Riley into a sort of a, a what a back alley, so it's just you two, or what? Yes. Okay, he follows you. He is and immediately as yeah, as we turn the corner, I like push him against the wall and like do this. So pin pinning him, or like yeah, but well, I just like push him enough so that he's like you know surrounded, so to speak. But I'm not like pinning him, like locking him in. Yeah, that's right. Right, everything all right there, buddy? Yeah. What was that shit? Dude, she held my hand. I for like, saw. For like an hour. An hour? Yeah. It was amazing. Now look here. I, I did. Oh. Yeah? I, I'm looking. What do you want? with pan keep it brief because my patience is also brief um i don't know i I keep staring at him as he's clearly contemplating he's a he's a teen i relate you don't know what you're his, his breathing just starts to get slowly faster and faster. Look, I got a job to do. I made a promise to Shoujo. Sweat, sweat. So, I like you, man. But <laughs> don't do shit that is not going to make me not like you. You get me? Okay. I, I understand. Thank you for... for- your advice. I will keep that in mind. Sir. Yeah. He Good. sort of tries, tries to sidestep out from no, me. We're not the done. Wall. It's just like <laughs> Oh, I am trapped. Okay. Yeah, I'm good at my job. Okay, so you're now officially restraining him. <laughs> yeah. Okay, his intimidation level has just gone from about six to nine. All right. Now, to make it up to me. You're yeah. going to do great in the plan Tai Lung's going to say. In about, yeah. let's say, five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. We can wait. Let's let's go talk to Tai Lung now. He's 
significantly less terrifying. An ambulance. Talon! Talon! Yeah? And he is. Can, can, can you come tell me the plan? Oh, yeah, I, I sure. Let him, I, I let him go. Uh, and we just, uh, I just wrap my arms. Oh, hey, we're being very rated. insidious. I wrap my arms around his like shoulders and we're just walking like we're friends. Like, it's fine. Clap, clap, clap on his shoulder. Riley, dude, dude, I thought and, and I, Riley I, just I've been looking mouths, forward to being so much here. Riley silently mouths at Tai Lung. He's going to kill me. Yeah, no, I also. He's going to kill me. I'm glad you're excited, dude. We, you are going to kill it. You're going to kill this meeting, man. You got it. You, you're already in the right mindset. Fake it till you make it. This is what I've been saying to everybody. Okay, and I just throw the clothes at him. He's like, you're the guy. You are the guy today. So, we, yeah, you guys, so see, see, we're all what dressed up. Look at me. I'm, 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 look at, see, see my dress, see my clothes? Okay, well, you're going to look like that soon. So put these on and then get on that saber-toothed, uh, what's the animal called? Get on the saber-toothed <gasps> moose lion and you, my friend, Riley, you... And, and I, like, he looks, I, I get he up looks like, at Riley, the giant saber-toothed moose lion. You are the guy today. You, you, do, you, you, you feel me? So you get up on that moose lion and you, you, be, you got to be the guy. you got to be the guy that is fighting for our investment, okay? This is really important to us, okay? Uh, Riley, you're not saying anything. Uh, Riley. Yes? You're gonna, you're gonna do great. You run. I am. You're gonna do great. I am. Good. Okay. What's happening? Okay, so Riley's the, the okay. Nothing. Riley's the investor. We have a we have a business meeting with some people that are rich. We want to get a lot of money off them, but we want to start a price war. So Riley is going to be the opposite investor and trying to drive the price up, like in the side thing in the business meeting. And then you, Pan, you're like the boss ass business bitch. You come in here's this pantsuit. I chuck a pantsuit at her, and I, and I I, uh, I I'm just like, okay, you're gonna walk in there. You're gonna be like, we want this and this and this, and then and then you're gonna fake it till you make it, okay? And um, Riley is yeah. Riley is. Listening to this rapid fire explanation and his nose begins to bleed. Oh, Riley, are you okay? Yes. It's okay, he's just got to put on his clothes. I do. Can you let go of me? Do you? <laughs> me? Yes. Oh, sorry, hold All on, right. get back in there. So oh, oh, yeah, sure. yes. Sorry, sorry, man. Sorry. All right, there you go. You let him. You, you go. let him go, and he bolts indoors to the to the tavern where uh, to the broken bar sign where he has accommodation where he can change. What do you do? Really well. So motivated. I, I went so well, guys. Um, I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna change, and then I'm gonna talk to Riley. Um. About what? I don't care your city. No, 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 no. About this meeting. Oh yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, of course. And I, um, I just you I look go at go with them, Rowan. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, sure. But like, I mean, you can handle yourself, but Riley, you know, he's a twig. So, uh, I just I think he's pretty twiggy. Yeah, it's pretty skinny. I think I Riley, okay. Um, just guys, just to wait here, okay? Like you're being weird, all of you. No, what? It's just wait, the uh, no, Pan, Pan, wait, Pan, 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 wait, wait, wait. I've walked away. No, she gets it. So, Pan, <laughs> you walk inside. Yeah, yeah. that'll be fun. Um, you know, you know where you're going already. All of this was pre-booked. Do you know what your rooms are? Do you head up the stairs and um, you find you find a little slick of of vomit by the door. And you head inside and um, sort of slumped in the corner, um, hugging his knees and, and shuddering, uh, is Riley. The clothes are abandoned at the foot of the bed. Riley? Riley, Riley is out. No response. Um, he's, he's quite clearly just crying and in shock. Hey. I put my hands on his knees. He flinches, jerks upright, looks at you, relaxes, but only a tiny bit. 
No, he's not naked. He just hasn't changed yet, Serum. Get your head out of the gutter. Um, I'm sorry for, um, for the guys. They're being weird. Um, look, mm. I, I really liked holding your hand. Um, I think you're going to do really well today, okay? He breaks down. Um, yeah, huh. he, he, he goes from silently crying to openly bawling. And just, <laughs> we can't do that again. Never again. And that's the most coherent sentence you managed to get out of him for the next two hours. I think, I think, I think Pam, <laughs> hearing that is going to get angry. Okay. Uh, uh, fine. What is it with boys and not liking me? Whatever. <laughs> she walks. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm going to change into my power suit wow. in a different room. You walk out and, and you do, I don't know, are you still, are you too angry to hear the quietly half screamed, um, I do like you, that happens as you're slamming the door or, you mm -hmm. know, the, the desperate incoherent attempts to explain that does, wouldn't really <laughs> work anyway? No, if he's blubbering, I wouldn't be able to hear him. Fair enough. Um, so you go and you furiously change. Uh, yes. And then I'm, I imagine join the others outside or? Yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> wear the power suit a little lower to show off my <laughs> newly developing cleavage. <laughs> and I'm going to walk downstairs <laughs> like a boss. So you, to, you show off, yep. to show off what isn't there, but will hopefully RSVP soon. It's soon, it's th <laughs> developing. <laughs> So I picture, I, I picture I picture Pan walks out and then uh like I've never seen Pan like this before and I'm like, all right, Pan, boss, I uh, yeah, I'm like good I'm looking one. away respectfully. Oh my uh Terry. Oh that uh, Pan is <laughs> about 14 and a half. So um Pan. Yes. You look great. Thank you. You look great. Yeah, you look Why really, you look you look really nice. My neck hurts. Okay. Uh, I, I just got a lot of sun. My eyes are kind of like stinging. Okay. I walk up to Pan and I try and like basically raise the window. It's <laughs> <laughs> not. It's not no. that low cut. It's Pan, why are, you, why are you wearing it like that? I don't think. I just think Tai Long has never seen you dress like this before so he's just he, no idea what to do like flustered okay, okay okay get your hands off my power suit yeah yeah we need to have a conversation boss ass bitch it's happening i am a girl do not touch you know that. Me unless you ask this is not cleavage it is just how the power suit is made fuck you guys for not looking at my eyes now i didn't look at any of you yeah that whatever doesn't count as avoiding your eyes i'm avoiding everything Ugh. i'm writing this business notes did anyone want to contribute and stop looking at my power suit uh uh i'm still like looking like kind of like trying um, very looking intensely just at your eyes i yeah i have this uh, paper that proves that I am good to invest in. Uh, yes. <laughs> I, I turn around to Rowan, I'm like, it worked too well. <laughs> <laughs> the death stare. The suit, the suit, yeah, yeah, I'm just like, I'm just like, the suit is too powerful. What have we done? What have I'm you like, done? Do we take out the shoulder pads? I'm, I'm trying to fix it. Take out, it. take out the padding. Fix it. Take out the shoulder pads, guys. You have clearly created the ultimate woman. She created the BBEG. Okay, you guys are acting weird still, so I'm going to write the notes. She sits down and stuff. Whatever you say. Writing. 
Thanks, a man. bit of forewarning as well. Um, your pan with the business competitor uh, is not going to is not going to work because Riley is presently having a nervous breakdown. Oh, I no one's told too, us though. So too good a job. Yeah, I don't know Where's that. Riley's really going to take a while to show. Don't mention it. Where? I'm mad at all the boys. Where's Riley? I'll go get him. All right, because we I really need everything hinges on Riley being like this super cool and successful and pompous like business dealy person. So if Riley's, you know, if Riley's just run off, then I don't know what we're going to do anymore. Like we bought a yeah, whole, yeah. we bought a whole saber tooth moose lion for this. As I'm walking away, I'm just like, his back is turned, but he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm getting him. <laughs> um, I'm going to sit down like slightly too far away from <laughs> just <laughs> next to her, but like not close enough that like, you're like, what are you doing? Uh, and? uh, what have you got so far? Uh, well, um, we want an investor. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, she's, yeah. she's off. She wants to, she wants to buy in and like, she, she said she'd pay for labor costs and, 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 and um, uh, mat material costs. Um, okay. So did you do something different with your hair? Yeah. You put slick in it, and I tied it in a bun. Oh uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a great idea. No, I just I just think that was a really nice touch. Anyways, <clears throat> uh, so uh, we we want to still have control over the company. Uh, we don't want her to like kind of swoop in and be like rich and take over. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, maybe we should ask what her intentions are, like what she wants from us. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. Also, do you do you feel like maybe the shoulder pads were too much? Because we can't take them out. Like we don't. Or, um, or, or I, if you like them, like you can keep them. They they look good. I just you know I want you I want you to be comfortable, being tough. You're always tough. Uh, but the shoulders. You know whatever. Mind we can just leave the shoulder pads in. That's fine. Uh, anyways. Uh. Yeah, intentions, intentions. Um, <clears throat> yeah, um, so, uh, we can ask her what she wants from your business and, um, and what we're getting in return. So laying out the, you know, the contract itself, what we would be, uh, having to give her. Um, yeah, cause, it, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's not, that's a really, really good idea. Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> what else? Uh, do you, do you think I need to look older? Like, do you think, do you think I need to, like, uh, look tougher as, like, you know, like, the boss, like, CEO? Like, do you think I, 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 how do I look as a, as a boss? Or how do I look? Like, what, what do you, what do you think? Do you think I need to, like, look more like a boss? I, I like, think you look good. Thanks. Okay, cool. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, uh, so... So much writing on that one sentence. <laughs> um, hey, I think you're just nervous. Like, just breathe. <laughs> like, I like look at him and I like put my hands on his shoulders. I am just stiff. I'm just, mm, <laughs> thanks. Hey, yeah, breathing. Hey, thanks. You've got this. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. You, you too. <laughs> okay, cool. So um, we can yeah, also cool. talk about like the the percentage of the company. Like, it, does she want to buy into the company, or is she just um, uh, you know, helping with sales? Yeah. Um, or 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 well, she wanted. She said did say she wanted to like expand oh. something. So so does she want like the right the, the, stuff or the just... sense that she gave was that she represents a bunch of of more nationalistically inclined uh wealthy citizens uh she made it sound like this was sort of um not charitable but you know boosting a useful enterprise less so than in, than a corporate investment okay yeah so she made it sound like a grant, basically. Okay. 
Well, that's that's really good. That means that she wouldn't want to like control your company. She would just want to offer you um, money in order to invest, and and so you could expand your business. Um, maybe go traveling. That could be cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, look, uh, I, I mean, I guess that's good. Like, I'm I'm happy. Like, you know, I I do want people to kind of like see this stuff and know, like, you know, like my my brother's invention, but. Yeah, if if it's just like she she wants to be able to use them and like help us help her build, then that's fine. I I'm not sure if I want to sell like a share of the business or if I, I, I give her any control over that. Yeah, and you don't have to. You don't yeah. have to say anything. And I don't understand why we have a, a um another competitive person if she's just giving a grant that. Well, we don't know how much she wants or like what what exactly she wants. You know, we're just speculating. Oh, okay. We just, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like we we want her to think that she needs to like uh, uphold like her part of the deal. Like she needs to be good to us, because if we have other people interested, then she doesn't like have that on us. You know, yeah, and, and Tai Long said never to accept the first offer. So write that down. <laughs> I think okay. that's important. Cool. Yeah. All right. So, um, Rowan, you said you were heading back in to check on Riley, yeah? Yeah. Make a focus check. It's going to take a while because rolling's been really slow. It's all good. The suspense, it kills me watching it. Uh. Eh. Hey, boo, boo, boo. 11. You 11. Can't hide from me. No, you, you, you get in, you, you get up there, you get upstairs, and you find him, and he's still crying and shaking in the corner. And you approach, and you can see his muscles tense, and you can, you can see he's so stressed, coiled like a spring. And you get in close, and you, you lay a hand on his shoulder, and you see it coming before he has a chance to swing. He goes for your nose and you lean backwards. Was it a good punch if it did hit? If it had hit, he'd have broken your nose. He's got- Oh, nice. He's got <laughs> balls. The kid has balls. Does he do a follow-up? Sorry? I don't do anything. You said that I, I like, touch his shoulder and he went for a swing. Does he do a follow-up? No. Um, in fact, he was going to sprint regardless of whether it hit, and he is now sprinting. You have a hand on his shoulder, but... Dude. I, I, I did. I was too powerful for you. <laughs> I was too so scared. You... To be fair, I am big. Um... I treat him like a, a wild animal now because he basically is. He's like letting his emotions just flare all over the place because I triggered his flight, like his like internal survival mechanism. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, um, I, I try in fairness, like, you did more or less threaten to kill him. I did. <laughs> I wanted to, I wanted to shake him up to see how serious he was because I'm not good at this shit. And it yep. went too far. Um, I try and like cut him off. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you, I with, you like, easily can. Yeah. Like I said, you you had a hand Dude. on his shoulder. Yeah. I don't try and I don't want to try and restrain him. That seems to be the worst All way. Right. If I think of him as an animal now. So you just sort of uh, take a few quick steps back because you are very quick and you're just standing over. In front of the yeah. door. And yeah. he's sort of half crouched, going, trying to edge around, even though there isn't really a way. Uh, oh, Shoujo, why'd you put me up to this? All right. Dude. Uh, what, this, what do they say? Um, deep breaths. Calm down. 
I don't have my spear. Roll harmony. That's my second worst <laughs> one. It's not good for people, man. Oh. And that's not bad. That's not bad, actually. And you manage it relatively well. You shrink yourself down just a little bit. You, you know, hunch your shoulders in, make yourself look a tiny bit smaller. Yeah. And soften your voice, your voice a little bit so that you sound a bit more like you did a year and a bit ago. And it sort of helps. Um, He's still hyperventilating. He's still looking at you like a wild animal, but he's not. He's not incomprehending anymore. He's he's listening. Okay. I um is the doorway open? That's your call. I don't know. I just stand there. I feel like my, my presence is enough of a deterrent, as sad as that is. <laughs> But I just kind of like lower my hands and then I just scratch mm-hmm. the back of my head like ah oh, fuck. Um look, I'm sorry. It's quite quick. That's just that just happened like 10 minutes ago, but I can see how much it affected you. And I mean, to be honest, Shoja would probably punch me in the face for it. deserve it. He says that, but much more shakily. You would deserve it. Is it in his voice or is it in his body, the shake? Well, both. Well, tell you what. You can punch me after we get this business meeting. Wherever I want. You say wherever? Yep. Not not down there, but yeah. It's gonna be down there. Um I I look at him in the eyes as he look at me back. Does he look at me when he says that? Yes. He's just a little less threatened by you, and that's given his anger a chance to show. But you know, I meant what I said. I mean, I'm not going to kill you, but it's my job to protect Pan, and if you're going to hurt her in any way. And he... Hmm. Give me a sec. I'm just gonna go in. And he gives you the finger. I can kind of respect that. I, I smile. She's a firebender, asshole. I'm not. Yeah. And words can break hearts. She's cuter than me. I'm not the one in danger there. It's not about who's cuter. I learned that the hard way. Fuck off. Off. And he turns back and he he starts getting ready with his clothing. So he he does at least seem to have, have... gotten ready to do the job. Good enough for me. I just like take a step out, look back, and then go. Fair enough. Ah, teenagers. Anyway, um, 
in about 10, 15 minutes, Rally emerges in the clothing you got for him, uh, looking calmer, uh, still furious and and not making eye contact with literally anyone uh, besides Tai Lung, uh, who he actually stands slightly closer to than normal. Um, but he looks good to go. He, look, he looks like he can pull himself together. And he just side eyes. Us. Okay. You want me to pretend I'm an investor? I don't want you to pretend. I want you to be. You are uh, the investor. I can do that. I can do that. Yeah. Whatever, Ro did, did Rowan get you in the mindset? Because you're like doing it right now dude just do like a thumbs up in the background you're just like I you're love. in it i can already see the mindset you've, you've got this i believe in you it's like that's not what i meant but okay he takes a deep shaky breath and just says let's do this i don't and think I, I go, has looked at him pan yeah i don't think pan has looked up at riley yet just so riley and of the situation. And Riley glares at Rowan with all of his might. Yeah, take it clenches, all. In. Clenches his fists and turns to Pan. You're super cute. Yeah. And then he and then he looks away. Wait, he says oh. that? Oh. Yep. No. Oh. <gasps> Because Rowan made him nut up. I like this Riley. I like this. Who is this guy? Who's this guy? I don't know this guy. This is a boss yeah. ass investor, but look at to me. Right, and, I, think I think we're ready. And Serum has changed his profile image to just kill him now. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just like chewing on whatever like little snack I have on the road in my like tuxedo that's gonna have like tear away clothes or sleeves and i'm gonna be like all right all right riley i just under my breath let's play i think pan I... is pan's looking at him now he seems as the as the person Sorry? who has no idea about any of what's going on i'm stoked to just get our gig going i'm just like yep. hey, i'm 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 feel, i feel confident everything's I... coming together i'm some I am somehow vibing with all four of their attitudes right now, and it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, Pan, you were you said said something? Yeah. Uh, or... um, I think Pan is is looking at Riley now, like she adjusts see a spinner. Her power suit and um, like is making eye contact with him a little bit. Oh. Okay. He, he, he catches your eye once or twice and, and blushes and a, and a small smile, but not smiling while looking at you, only smiling as he turns away. And, and uh, about two minutes in, he just sort of one hand by his side, he just pumps his fist just once. <laughs> I'm watching think, like a fucking hawk. <laughs> I think... Um... <laughs> I think Pan is looking between him and then like seeing whether Jean notices, but in a subtle way, like she'll just occasionally look from her peripheral to see if Jean is noticing. Uh, Jean is staring at Riley. <laughs> Doesn't say anything, just. Oh, sorry. Were you expecting this to be an easy ship? Wait, did Riley say that? <laughs> no, 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 I really <laughs> didn't. No, Serum is now um, shipping Pan and Riley. No, what, no, why is what Zoom says? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Don't he fall for his lies, chat. He might change his. <laughs> <laughs> Come out of the green screen, give me the finger. All right. No. What's it? Yeah. Now then. No, Tylon, after you. Oh no, I was I was saying, what are we doing? What are, are you doing? I imagine you're heading for the address that you were given, yes? He, uh, I haven't seen the address, so I guess so. Alrighty. Um, 
Jean, you're, you're, the, one, you're yes. the one who knows it. I take the crumpled piece of paper out and be like, well, this is where we're heading. It's about a 10 minute walk. Okay. Hey. So you go. Hey, Jane. Yeah. Um, I'm still looking at Riley. <laughs> yeah. No, no, don't worry. As in Jane, Jane is looking at Riley. Yeah. Like all, all like confidence has just gone out of my face. Like, like the, the and... you know, just like the walking down the street. I've just completely changed the second I saw that address, and I was like, Riley gives Jean a look. <laughs> Um, notices notices Jean gazing at him, and there's just a single a, a, a touch of recognition and a single raised eyebrow, and it's it's like Jean is now scrutinizing challenge. Riley, just doing the whole like. And it gives you. I slowly turn away to Tai Long. Sorry, you were saying. Um. No, 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 it's all right. Um, I think, I think, I think I'm wrong, but it, it's okay. So l let's just keep, let's just see where this place is. Oh, Jean loses all like of that bullshit. She's like, no, dude, are you okay? Like what? No, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I just, um, I got some, I got some like nostalgia waves coming around me right now from the last time I was here and yeah. Did you eat something funny? Not that I think so. You ate the same thing. Yeah. I give Tai Lung like, uh, like a one-armed side hug. Just like, you'll be alright, buddy. You're with us, right? Yeah. You don't have to come along, honestly. I don't want you to be like... No, I, I want to be people. here. I want to be, I want to, I want to be part of it. Great. Because yeah. you're employee of the month. <laughs> As you're having this private moment during the walk, uh, Riley sort of shifts back, so he's walking alongside Pan. Doesn't say anything, just does that. I mean, we're all technically employee of the month, as I also keep like track of Riley. <laughs> <laughs> and you are now being bracketed by Rowan and Riley. No, I'm just watching. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I like, I kind of slink back into the middle of the group now. I'm no longer like up the front anymore, and it was kind of walking in the mass. Okay. So. What is happening? I don't know. <laughs> you, you walk and you go, tension. and there's a weird tension in the air and a weird aggressive quiet. Um, and you reach a gate, and it opens, and the guards wave you through. And Tai Lung is looking worse and worse. And you get to a beautiful azalea garden. And there is a woman in a flowing, a flowing gown who Jean recognizes with a kingfisher on her shoulder. And she looks across the group of you and she smiles and she says, Hello, Tai Lung. It's been a while. Hey. I don't, I don't, like, there's no eye contact. Hey. You must, you must be my son's friends. What? Son? What? Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. He doesn't seem the type, does he? Come on in. I immediately, like, walk upstairs. I look at everyone. I'm like, just, <sighs> just, just go with uh, it. Jean is clammy again. I, I, I look at I'll, Tai I'll Lung. I'll look to Tai Long, just kind of like, you're right, dude. I look at him worried as well. And you I, need me I, to clobber I, some of them? I can do that. Oh, I God. I like look at him and I give a little hand gesture that's like if we need fire we fire. Mm -hmm. As a point, um, half the doors of this house, including the front door, uh, require earth bending to move. 
what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. It, it's just a sort of a, a family thing. Every okay. every one of them, every member of the family is an earthbender, so the doors are basically just sections of wall that you shift. Disturbing. Which is which explains like the Scooby Doo wall from the thing a while back, like how easily that was able to happen. <laughs> yeah. So she opens it with a gesture, walks inside, closes it behind herself. It's like I'm a different person the second I saw what was happening. I am right. on edge. I've just like Riley is like priority Z right now. I forget Riley's there. Mm-hmm. Riley, to his credit, has also kind of dropped whatever the frick that was. Um, <laughs> because he's noticed that his friend Tai Lung is, is not looking okay and something weird's going on. Yeah. And he's, 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 to his credit, acknowledging that something more important might be afoot. If there's any credibility of a plan or confidence, it's gone. Like, like completely, like the second he saw her, done. Mm-hmm. That's it. On in his in- mind, anyway. Do you head um, inside? Yes. Tai Lung. Do you w- want to go inside? Like, we don't have to. Yeah, we, we can call this off. Man. We can find money a different way. Do you do you wait for more than 10 seconds? Yes. The door, without anyone there in it, rolls open again, as if waiting for you. Let's see what they have to say. Let's see what she has to say. Um, and I walk forward. I, I, okay. I follow immediately. Yeah, I'm going. Same on the other side. The... I'm like antsy. I have like, I'm trying not to show it, but I have like my hand close to the, the spear handle without holding it. The exact moment um, that you step inside Tai Lung, you can tell that there is something off. Because the beautiful ornamented uh, entryway of your home used to be far more cramped. It used to have tapestries and and statues and carved benches of extinct wood. It's all gone. Bare tile, bare floors, a single carpet that's been left behind Mind, although it's been walked through with sand as though even the servants aren't there anymore to clean it. It's not the same. The place is empty now. And as you all enter, stepping around the corner um, is one member of your family who you do not have bad memories of. It is your younger brother. Hue. And he looks at you with the the deep shame of someone who is sorry that he's glad to see you. Hey. Hey, bro. I missed you. Miss you too. Uh, and he sort of takes a half step forward and um, opens his arms as though waiting for a hug, but not quite sure if he's allowed. I I look over to anyone watching, like uh, uh like family members or anything. There is no one else around. When I realize that, I I run up and embrace him like very very hard he hugs you back and he buries his face in your shoulder i missed you too this place got so fucking empty man 
sorry. It's so wrong now. I know. You were the only good thing here, and I, I, I sorry. That sounded that sounded angry. No, I missed you. She's waiting in the other room. Don't have to talk to her. Do you still? Do you still? You okay? Yeah, yeah, I am. And he doesn't make eye contact with you when he says that. I'm fine. Okay. Uh, can I like observe any of his exposed skin, like his body on his body? Yep. Is that a what are you looking for? Uh, something no. That what are you looking for? I, I'm looking for any marks or bruises. You're very familiar with what she does. I want to check um, yep. It looks clean. You know that when you were his age, the memories were so visceral to you that they made you flinch. And he doesn't seem to back away when you touch his wrist. He doesn't? Okay. No. But he will not look at anyone for more than about half a second. He cannot seem to hold eye contact with a single person. Okay. Can we talk later? I'd like right there. You know the spot that Mum can't find. I'll I do. You there. Okay. I'm going to my room now. Um, she. She has a lot to say to you. I bet she does. Um, if it gets uh, heated, uh, just get out of the house, okay? But just so you know, don't, don't stay because of me. I'm not. I don't want, I don't want that. Cause I'm not, I'm not ever staying here she's, again. Well, she's going to try and don't you dare. And he, he goes back to his room. And you guys are left. Um, and you know that the meeting hall, um, where you where you would take uh, fellow nobles or, or anyone outside of the Beifong household, uh, is two doors down on the left. I look at everyone. I just don't say anything nod and I walk down the hall all right I uh serum how are we doing for time deadlines uh you guys all follow yeah awesome um so you find her there and she's standing again in the middle of a much sparser than time I long remembers room. And she's, uh, sorry, the room used to be grand. There used to be this jade dragon dominating the dining table that your father had commissioned to commemorate your naming, Tai Lung, the great dragon. And it's mostly gone. I say mostly because there is a single chunk of it, a recognizable chunk, being used as a center as a center ornament in the middle of the table. The rest is gone. Now 
We were here to discuss business, weren't we? <clears throat> uh, y- yes. So, we didn't get quite a clear picture of what we're here for, if you would care to explain what your interests are. Certainly. I have a machinist with me. I brought him along for our first meeting. You might remember the man with the hunched back. He wishes to take a look at the Brimsilus so that he can help you with refining mass production techniques. From there, you would like to distribute them to the Beifong workforces, and from that point, the rest of the country. We want to make the Earth Nation great again, where we should rightfully be. When you say so, refine, what did you have in mind exactly? Well, I presume you brought the original with you. Yes. We will see what we can do. Please place it upon the table. What's left of it? Yeah, I'll place it on the table and just. Right. If you have any questions, I will be glad to show you how it works. But I'd prefer if there was no tinkering at this point. Are you guys there? Yeah, yeah, we lost you for a bit, I think. Yeah. All right, my internet dropped out. What was the last thing you heard? Uh, we put the we put the firework put on the, the table. We put the thing on the table. All right, you put the the brimsless on the table. Do you do so? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Jean did. Yeah, and Jean said something. Yeah, I said um, like if you have any questions, I'm happy to show you. But I and she raises her hand. She raises her, her hand to cut you off. I keep talking. I'm like, there is to be no tinkering at this stage. And she gestures at the table, which is made of stone. And two spires of stone come up from inside the 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 heads of the brinsalus, the pickaxe heads. Mm-hmm. Now, I want you to realize, Jean, this this is not an insult to you. This is a lesson for my son. Dreams will only make you bitter. I pick up the firework. Uh, Roll focus. Eleven. Eleven. All right. So, you get a sense of what she's about to do right before she does it. And you jump across and you grab the brimsless. It's not a firework, it is a pickaxe. Pickaxe. Sorry, yeah. Um, And you grab it by the handle and you wrench it off the table right as the spires of rock begin to pull it in half. And because you moved so quickly, it only takes minor damage instead of being completely destroyed. <clears throat> Excuse me, ma'am, but I was under the impression that we were here for a business meeting. I would like you to appreciate that we both have interest in this, and I would prefer if you didn't damage my merchandise while we're in negotiations. And she looks at you, Jean. And shrugs her shoulders and basically just... <sighs> I'm sorry to say this, little girl, but you don't matter. I look back at Pan, like... Dean, I don't think she's here for a business meeting. I'm here to talk to my son. you want them you're needed 
Your father passed away two months ago. Your brothers, bless their souls, took their rightful portion of the inheritance and chose to make their own ways. This is what you have left. It's your turn to run this family. And, and what do I have left? She gives you a smile. Very little. What do you have left? Even less. That's Good luck with that. Why did they... Well, I shouldn't even ask. I know why. Did he um, get any? I try to make eye contact with Tyler. I was like, do you, like, do you need... Like, my eyes are like, do you need an out? Like... I see you've done some remodeling with the table. Oh, yes. We had some debts to pay. Jade sells very well. That it does. And did the... Did my brothers get anything sold on them? Oh, no. They took what was theirs and left. Sorry. They are good boys. <laughs> no, they're not. You, you know they're not. They're, well, they're, they're mine. Just, I'm yours. You never mm. wanted me. No, you're not. You are the thing of some servant that your father started looking at when I turned 40. You're lying. You're not mine. You're lying. I stop I stop even like looking at her. I'm like I don't Hmm. You're lying. Believe it or not. There is no changing the fact that your father is gone. Rest his soul. And what happened to him? Why wasn't I told about that? You were. It took us two months to find you because you were hiding like a child. Pan's hands are twitching. She is not doing anything, but she's furious. And it's I'm also like... I'm ready. I'm like in a. I was. I start to crouch down. Like I'm about to fucking lunge. Mm -hmm. I get ready. I don't do anything though. And you can see. Well, actually, can you see? Everyone, roll focus. Who is actually paying attention? Yeah, I'm paying so much. I be attention counting right as paying now. attention right now, or am I too caught up in everything? That is your call. Focus. I'm too caught up. I rolled a Ooh, ten. I rolled a ten. Also a ten. Three, ten. You ten you have, around. You have seen Tai Lung work his earth bending, his particularly unique style of mantis earth bending, enough to recognize someone else doing it. And her fingers are just shifting into ready stances. Her balance is just barely shifting to be ready to move. And anyone who rolled above a nine can tell she's a lot better at this than Tai Lung is. Why, why, why would you call us here in, in, at all? If all you want to do is tell me some lies and then say, this is your stuff. What's because there to gain? You... Nothing. This is about responsibility and family and what's my responsibility if you don't even want me your responsibility is to return my responsibility unfortunate <laughs> as it may be is to take you 
No. Sorry, no. ma'am, but as you can see, he's a valued employee and we are not offering remote positions right now. He needs to come back to Bossing State with us, where his work is needed and appreciated. It's really not a request. Well, neither was mine. Well, I think that says it all. And as we have just hit 11 p.m., I think this is a good place to end it. Oh, oh we're gonna night. we're gonna commit oh, mommy side. Mommy side. Mommy side. I believe the technical term is matricide, but okay. Yeah. Mommy side. So. Someone doesn't read books. Favorite moments all round, I reckon. Um, who would like to go first? I'll tell you what, my favorite um, pan moment was holding hands with Riley and feeling so weird about it. <laughs> oh, I've been in that situation. So have yeah. I. Yep. <laughs> I yeah. think we've all done that where we've been like, Everyone oh, I made stuck. a choice. I regret the choice. Absolutely. Yeah. My favorite Pan moment was definitely just flirting with Pan. That was just so fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're such a cute little 14 year old. Yeah. yeah. And I'm you out too. of focus. Oh, no, call me back. You're call me back. Here we go. 15, 15, 16 year old. Uh, I was going to say that 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 scene is my favorite pan and jean moment just like the back and forth yeah it's business meeting and it's like yeah uh <laughs> just yeah. the awkwardness is palpable i have been there <laughs> i love i love being awkward in character mm. in person not so much but in character hell yeah mm. <laughs> you can say all the things you fucked up when you were younger but in the right way oh yeah. no <laughs> you're still fucking up Fuck it up because it's funny as hell. Jen Pan. Jean Pan? Jean Pan. Jean like Pan. The... Japan? Oh, Japan. oh. Is it just Japan? Hear me out. Japan. Hear me out. Peen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. That's a I think that's a that's a type of stuffed bread. That that's like a like a kebab. Panini. Oh, take it. Hashtag peen. Peen. Oh, Hashtag man. peen or panly. Oh, we man. all know why we need to vote. <laughs> I, can't, I can't think of it. Like, time. I was going to say the same one for favorite moment for Pan because it was just so good. <laughs> I know I'm unoriginal, but that's, yeah. I, okay, I did like oh, I, the, the dress part was actually very good. The, the boss yeah. suit was very good. Everyone having to, like, oh. you know, deal with, deal with a totally different side of Pan. I and, like think... scolding. It's been a year of Pan being like having a girl crush on Jean and nothing happening. And now a guy's interested and now the guys are being all macho and telling him not to be with her. And then he's crying. And like, I put myself into the head of a 14 year old girl who's like, I don't care what's happening. I'm going to yell at you because I don't understand my feelings and I'm just mad. And this is how I'm channeling it. Yeah. Um, favorite Rowan moments. Personally, threatening Riley. I was gonna say that was intense. <laughs> yeah, that was beautiful. I I love the tearaway sleeves. So that was inspired. Oh, yeah. I am such a fan. Thank you. Incredible. I was like, Rowan needs to fight, and oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favorite Rowan moment was actually when you saw. Uh, Pan and Riley holding hands. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And like, your, Dan, your face physically changed. And then um, Jean was like, I want to talk to Pan. I want to talk to Riley. <laughs> I want to talk to Riley. Yeah. <laughs> so good. I like that. I like that Ron wanted a, what was it, Manta Boars? Like a whole squad of yeah. Manta Boars <laughs> to just Army. to do question mark with them. Like, there was no planning. <laughs> but like, no. just, 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 just to buy. Uh, AJ, to catch you up, the the money, the arbitrary money situation got significantly more confusing when we were allowed to buy a number of animals, but then a hat cost ten money. gold. Um, <laughs> and then and then we were like, let's just buy a shitload of animals. Let's play Pokemon. Why not? Yeah, yeah. 
Love it. Uh, but we couldn't, you know, that would take too long to train them, so we gave up on it. <laughs> Brilliant. That's the only saving grace. We could afford them easily. Yeah. It was only the time. Yeah, money is garbage. We don't have time. Yeah. Theorem said, hashtag raise the window. <laughs> <laughs> Remove the shoulder Brilliant. pads. Brilliant. That was actually like the, my favorite moment for, for myself because I was like, oh, well, he wouldn't rent like the ham big brother in terms of like really shutting down Riley or like yeah. testing his like manliness, so to speak, right? Um, but like the whole... They're almost dead, like, what are you doing dressed like that? <laughs> I, know. But I think it's so that funny because really it's so inappropriate. Like, mm. <laughs> you're just one of her male dude friends that is like protective of her. And now you're like adjusting her clothing. It's just. Yeah, you're being, you're being like conservative dad on him, on her. Yeah, it was so <laughs> I, weird. Love it. I love it. Oh, um, it's, it's peak mansplaining energy. Just, yeah. oh, yes. there's a problem with you. I shall fix you. Yeah. As in his brain, it was like, this is why Riley's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that's horrible. Uh, like, the, like, the whole promise with Shoja thing is really, like, caught up with him and be like, I guess this is what I have to do, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> That that is a thing that I never explained on stream. Um, in between this session and the last session, Shoja left uh, to go help out with construction on a new city, and he asked Rowan to take care of Pan. So yeah. Rowan is boasting bodyguard energy now. How did Rowan feel when Pan was like? Don't touch me, like without asking. Did that, that was actually pull you up of being like, "Oh yeah, this is weird." Yes, that was the first time he like broke out of the like weird must protect illusion, and be like, "Right, yeah, totally." <laughs> <laughs> like, but oh, hey, dragon, feel feelings weird. Mm, I mean, you can handle yourself, I guess, but. <laughs> I think it was such a like I don't know why the the four of us are really good at getting in tune with teenage characters. But it's just today, fun. Today I like turning so off my brain. Yeah. Today was such a clear example of like all of us being teenagers. For, yeah, like, this is a this is a head empty, no brain cell kind of day for yeah. me. Yeah. I just make yeah. jokes and turn off my brain. I'm that's that's it. Um, Matt, you did. My apologies for not allowing you to maintain that the entire time. <laughs> no, Fine. it was brilliant. I like I, was actually just gonna I say, like I like the mix of it all. My favorite Tai Long moment was actually when we got to the house and seeing his physical change with his mother was actually beautiful. Like the acting was on. Point. Yeah, I love the pep talk. Oh, yeah. I am. <laughs> the I pep talk got clipped. I think. I'm a, I'm a simple man. Okay, I am a simple man. You put a crash zoom in anything, <laughs> and I will laugh about it for hours. Yep, same. Yeah, nice. <laughs> but Thank yeah, you. no, like you, like Tai Long was like you were fantastic. I, I like that you're not afraid to delve into like the uncomfortable, like vulnerability. Yeah, mm. we and and for those watching at home, we did uh, we did talk about like DM player consent stuff before this, so he didn't spring yeah. it on me. It, we, yeah. It was planned. No, that, that's something I wanted to be very careful with because this is straight up physical and emotional abuse and you don't spring that on a player. Never spring that on a player. We should yeah. probably also put a warning in, in chat or... Um, in the VOD. In the VOD for uh, like, yeah. future reference. Yeah. Next uh, week. Episode. My favourite high long moment, um, AJ wasn't here. I don't think I don't think we were in chat yet, but the like reveal that part of the reason for like all the animals was to have something to hide behind during. The oh meeting. yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, <laughs> like you were like five D chests and steps ahead. I was like, <laughs> I wasn't even aware that you were doing that just for like. I thought you were just being fun about it, but then like the large animals, I was like, oh. Yeah, he don't want to see his mom, <laughs> not at all. Like he saw, so he would have known the second he saw the handwriting in the paper and was like, "Hmm, 
going to file that away with things I don't want to think about right now. Yep, because the moment he got that, it was not so much a question of whether it would go badly. It was just a question of how badly. Yeah. Personal favorite Tai Lung moment when he met his brother and you saw that caring, protective side and where he got it. Mm. Yeah. Because Tai Lung gets very protective when someone he loves is, is low. Yeah. But now we have we have to yeah. kill your mom. Now we have to kill my mom. I'm sad. She's not my mom. Mom is sad. Apparently. So is Jean. there guilt involved? She's she's doing the same bending that you're doing. So not metal bending, to be clear. But she's oh. a better she's I'm a better earth bending. bender. You know what I mean? Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. The, my my bending style would have been taught if yeah. If that yeah. I just I just wanted to know whether like the the metal bending was inherent, but I, I didn't realize it wasn't metal. So never mind. Mom is a Bay Fong though. It's, it's, or is it dad's side? The dad's a Bay Fong. Dad's the Bay Fong side. She is not a Bay Fong by birth. Yeah. Oh. But she's, she is proficient with Manta's style. She wants you. Yeah, but she's been in your family for like forty exactly. years. Yeah. She's a she's a bitch. Oh, it's yeah, she's awful. I wanted yeah. to throw so badly. I wanted to just like throw my like spear. Yeah, this was, like, was this. No. This was one of those moments where I was like, I know how bad everyone's gonna want to throw down, but Tai Long will avoid throwing down at Isn't almost it? any cost right now. We are all itching to kill your mama, but none of us. Are but doing he won't it. do it. He will not. No. Like he won't. Probably won't do it. I'm just letting yeah. you know that Pan was re like. Just before Rhythm called the end, I was going to throw a fireball at her. Like, Fuck. Pan is on Well, I'll tell you what, that is how we will open the next um, session, oh shall we? <laughs> oh, yeah. I throw a fireball at his mom. All right, if chat know. can remind... Yeah. If, if Yeah, I will oh, make a I note will of not that. forget, don't worry. Uh, Jean, uh, favorite moments for Jean? Oh, the 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 jealousy, the je the like scrutinizing Riley up and down as soon as oh, Riley. Oh, the look, <laughs> the look was just <laughs> goals. You, you didn't see him as a threat until he called Pan cute in front of everyone. Yeah, then, like, I was thinking like, mm, what would have destroyed my confidence as a fifteen-year-old? And I was like, ah, oh, the look. <laughs> that was yeah. good look. And the fact that he challenged you on it immediately. Yeah. I oh, was like, yeah. All right. He got some balls halfway through this. <laughs> Look, yeah, what did that Rohan call? accelerates manhood. <laughs> How do I put this? When you've burned out all of the fear you have inside your brain, um, you're capable of anything for five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's yeah. a good question did in the she, chat. Did she misgender yeah. Jean? Oh, yes. I just assumed that she did. She did yeah. misgender That's why I made the point of going like, Pan? That's the way that you should mention Pan. She's the only girl here. Yeah. Yeah, no, she called uh, she called Gina, she called Gina girl. Naughty. Mum is so killed her then. Yeah, that's I'm when kidding. I wanted to throw the fucking fireball. I was like, I'm gonna kill her. Yeah. But Rowan's pretty toxic. <laughs> mm. Toxic. Uh, yeah, my gene is for sure the the awkward bit with pan fuck. I love it. <laughs> so good. Yeah, definitely. I think I did. I think I blacked out. <laughs> but I was like, I'm just gonna say what comes to mind. So every time that I was like awkwardly stammering, was me genuinely just trying to figure out what to say. Next. There are times when actor and role blend. Yeah. Yes. Um, Actually, so Axel and I are really comfortable flirting with each other in stream. Yeah, it just becomes it's very fun. <laughs> Personal favorite moment for Jean: um, trying to uh, style Pan's hair. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, it was so gross. Just around sweaty boys. <laughs> yeah, we're fifteen. We're stinky and gross. Yeah, <laughs> I. 
I got, I got a, I got a, I got one from pre-break. Uh, I really, I really loved <laughs> the the dress choice that Jean chose to, to, as like what a teenager thinks is a business meeting appropriate get up with like yeah. what was it was it the the, the the shirt tucks or something like yeah, that yeah the tuck shirt and then yeah. the cashmere like just not at all professional but like very a, much do you have a french tuck and a cashmere yeah yeah on? when did you go all queer eye on them? <laughs> oh, it doesn't look good <laughs> And then no, um, it looks terrible. And it was like suit pants, like suit pants, except they flare out at the bottom. They have zips. So oh, if it got too hot, he can take them off. Yeah, yeah, you miss that. Come shorts. I actually, I have another favorite moment in break. You guys explaining to me that you have bought me a blue power suit with shoulder pads. And I was yes. like, <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Because there, there, yeah. the, there was the story of like, okay, okay, pan's like going to help us out with it. And we're like, no. And then this whole scheme started of like, no, Pan's, Pan, wait, was it Pan? No, it's going to be Riley was going to be Riley this whole like yeah. competitive business person. And then Pan's going to be a, like the front woman, like boss ass bitch, like just, just yeah. coming up and telling us what it is. And we were definitely like, we had like, we were like, yeah, we'll, we'll choose something for Pan. What's her style? Like, what does she wear again? Yeah, we what couldn't think of like wear? how Pan would dress. <laughs> Yeah, we none like, of us had any clue. All the record, like Pan, Pan dresses a little bit like a boy. Um, like, just that was a pantsuit worked. With a long ponytail braid down the back. Okay, that cool. was my Ooh. assumption, but I didn't want to choose for you. No, no, no. It's it's <laughs> like um, a, a shorts and a, and a kimono uh, top thing that looks quite... It's just like a kid playing on the playground. <laughs> like a romper? Yeah, like a romba. <laughs> I will I will add. Um and, and it's taking it back a bit, but I've changed my favorite moment for Pan. Um when you saw that Jean's um pride and joy was about to be broken out of spite. Yeah, that was really cute. And and ditched everything to save it. Yeah. I like Jean, that. Jean's number one in Pan's heart. Jean will do oh. any. So I yes. can kill Riley. Hear that? You can't kill Riley because Jean hasn't fucking done anything about it. So Riley is the next choice. I want to kill Riley. He's already fine. Too. Riley oh, is can. Pan's backup boy. I'll, I'll <laughs> let sure you know. Know. Yes. That's how it works when you're a teenage girl. You don't get affection from someone else. You're like, fine, I'll go with this guy. It's not like a bad yeah. thing. It's how Look, teenage girls think. Riley may be a romantic competitor, but he's also a valued employee. <laughs> he's our grunt boy. So hold on, hold on. I'm just I'm looking at I'm looking at your uh, your ship name, and you've got it the wrong way around. It's Pangene, like Pantene Pro V. Pangene. Oh. Pangene uh, Pro V. Serum Serum seems but determined to make it Gen Pan. Sounds like Pangea. Gen Con. <laughs> it's uh, Pangea. Pangea. Or possibly Panly. Or Peen. I still like Peen. Peen. Peen is I can't believe Peen is not catching on. Or Japan. Peen. Yeah, whip out the Peen some more. <laughs> Peen Peen. Hashtag Peen. Never Pantene. change. Peen. Never change, small town creepy. Never change. Pan <laughs> Hi, Pangean bro. You've got to do favorite DM moments. Oh, yes. Oh, crap, you do. Fuck. Oh man. Uh, the dream oh. sequence stressed me out. <laughs> sorry, I not heard sorry. That from when I was like getting ready, to, I heard the entire thing, and I was like, I was like, I was like, man, this is getting, this is getting rough. <laughs> um, I felt really bad for them. Felt really, you really played with my heartstrings. Then it was hard for me to be like, I'm still pissed off, Rowan, when I was like intimidating. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Riley and he just like, oh, I'm happy, and then just like the slow, like realization that I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, <laughs> Pen like a panini, a pangini, <laughs> panini. Like a panini. I I liked um the exasperated exotic animal seller. Thank you, Tara. <laughs> that wasn't meant to be an evil grin. That was meant to be. Oh, this is cute. Oh no! Yeah, you look. You look like you're applauding. It comes off as evil, no matter what. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that, that comes yeah, entirely definitely. from the finger triangle of doom. Yeah, exactly. I, 
I liked Riley because I had no idea what we were expecting. And during the break, Rhythm was saying, you know, how am I going to play this character? I have to get into the mindset of a 14 year old boy. And I was very excited to see what Rhythm came out with. <laughs> and it's brilliant. The, this yeah. weird love triangle going on is perfection. And because they're each complicated in their own hormonal ways, when he, when Riley became angry and flipped off Rowan, I was like, I don't know how I feel about this boy anymore because he's letting his testosterone take over. Yeah. Like, I don't like it. <laughs> I've been writing tweenage, teenage characters for four years now. Yeah. I've gotten reasonable at it. You're, you're nailing it. Oh yeah, yeah the, great. the lash out when he gets like backed into a corner, very teenage boy. Oh, no yeah. matter who, no matter the personality <laughs> type, they will just do uh, that. Rowan smiled at that because I was like, I've been there. there. I can see that. Yeah. Except that, respect yeah. it. Except That's that you, land, there, you landed the like, blow. Yeah. When you were there, you connected the hit. God. Yeah. Emotionally stunted teenage boy signed me up for when I was 14. Yeah, hell yeah. There you Hell go. yeah. The, Emotional the, like, stunting. Perry, I was a massively awkward teenager. <laughs> um, the, I, was the almost, I was an, I was an awkward teenager well. into yeah. my 20s. I was, Sorry, I was, I was, I was very much like Tai Long. Just, 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 uh, just uh, oblivious to a lot of stuff going on around him. I was not Rowan, but I know, I knew many Rowans. <laughs> <laughs> uh i don't think i was as cool as pan but i was definitely as boy crazy <laughs> i was unfortunately very like riley a bit less um aggressive when backed into a corner but otherwise pretty riley were you as forward as riley the the bloody shoulder shoulder nudging and stuff on our journey yeah, just like forward oh no i i never had that kind of i never i never had that much bravery um, yeah oh, that was i was very surprised that riley was that brave as as a point that was an amount of touching like everything i described happened over the course of like a week yeah 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 but still it's it's like <laughs> when i was 14 if someone like grazed me i'd be like we're on what is happening <laughs> you throw it down. You throw it down, AJ. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw it down. Um, go, go for Fuck, we Rowan. Were, you and I, were, you and I were like, ended up in fisticuff. No. <laughs> I didn't understand how to be friends with dudes, let alone flirt with dudes. So, like, any physical touch, I'd be like, they love me. Oh, um, you did, so I watched this in Scrubs oh, the other day. Like, the loneliest guy, they touch him. He's like, mm. yeah. Yeah. favorite Favorite rhythm moment myself, just to round us off. Um, the Jade Dragon. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, that was something that I, I just went, fuck, I have to describe it. I have to describe what's going on in the living room. I didn't write anything for this. Okay, fuck, there's a dragon. There's a Jade Dragon. They've gotten rid of, oh, hey, Tai Lung's a dragon. Yeah, it's mm. his dragon. They did it to spite him. Oh, man, that, that hurt him. That hurt him a lot. Mm -hmm. That was like the one thing that he was like, this is the thing that I felt ownership over. Because you can tell yeah. that they left that one piece there for him to see. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. She did that on purpose. She's mm. so conniving and I hate oh. her. We're gonna kill your mom. Mom aside. <laughs> mom aside. Ready. We're gonna kill your mom. Like, I'm it's not. Going... <laughs> I'm ready. That I'm pretty said, sure the people. innocence in Ryan's died already. Yeah. Guys, I have absolutely loved this. You guys have been exceptional. Chat, you guys have been exceptional. Um, we are going to have to wrap up in the next 10 minutes or so. So uh, yes, I need to take, go to bed. <laughs> if we want to yes. take the necessary time for everyone to advertise themselves and uh, Corsair's Cove, which is an amazing thing that's being started by uh, Josh the Pirate and the second half of our campaign, will be being run there when we hit episode four. So keep an eye on that because it will be important if you wish to follow how this progresses. Uh, Pan uh, or AJ, please tell us about yourself as we sign off. 
Yeah, um, I'm in the hashtag peen supporters, just saying. <laughs> um, hi, I'm AJ Winters. <laughs> I'm a creative bean from Perth, WA, and I have my own channel, Winters Tale, where I release world building videos every Sunday, where I'm slowly building a world one step at a time that I'm going to host and DM a game in next year. I'm very excited for it. There may also be more flirting with Axel. We will see. Well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> uh yeah hashtag pain for life and serum is now obsessed with cat dogs i don't know why Brad and I wanted the hybrid to pets cat dog costume the hybrid pets okay 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 i was like what is happening uh that's me and dan hello uh, <laughs> my apologies if i'm somewhat flat i have not slept oh my god dan i love you and i miming together it's really <laughs> I'm dead. I'm, dead. I'm committed now. <laughs> I'm holding this thing. I'm dead. I'm dear. It Twitch chat. Um, uh, normally I just do meat space related stuff, so you can't find me anywhere except on here. Roll for damage, but on Monday, same time slot for Humblewood, where I play a Yeho wizard man, uh, reluctant savior of uh, Humblewood and eater of dead sentient things. What? Um, and afterwards, uh, come back. Here, two weeks from now, to see more Rohan momicide. Mm. Matt? Hey, I'm Matt. Mm. I, uh, I'm over in Melbourne. I DM and do things over at Split the Party. Uh, I am currently getting up in seven and a half hours for my painting stream. We're bringing Nerdarchy on, and we're going to paint some minis in the morning. So uh, that's over at twitch.tv slash Split the Party TV. We also have a YouTube channel where we put a bunch of pre-recorded content up there, like comedy videos actual play videos we just did an intro to D, D video that's our first piece of scripted content ever and that's i think i've got the links in there uh, or you can find it through my socials i'm also a professional dm if you want to hire me or do any team building events or any of that kind of stuff you want to give a forever dm a chance to play hit me up at dungeonmasterhire.com.au and we have a little discordy do in the chat as well there if you want to come hang out that discord is popping off i have corrupted so many players into playing yeah. destiny with me at the moment it's like genuinely yeah. insane we did a raid with a bunch of people the other day it's weird nice. yeah, i should hang and split the party play that yeah come and hang again. and split the party discords super yeah, fun in there yeah. um also just real quick um i i'm indifferent to team peen or team piley uh whatever now we have to go uh, around and say <laughs> which one we're in support of is that part of the outro <laughs> <laughs> uh but i'll say because Sh shoja is taken care of, or i have a promise so i have, I have to say team peen okay. obligated team pain team peen how about you uh matt <laughs> I, I, I don't know I, I want to see how the story develops because I don't, I don't, I don't know. I have no strong feelings one way or the other. There uh, is so much drama that can happen. This is still yeah. like formative yeah. relationship groundwork. Yeah. So it's like, so, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm keen for whatever works, but same time. Or for the tangent. <laughs> Axel. Well, for it. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Hello. <laughs> my name is Axel. I am an actor slash makeup artist slash menace here in Perth. Um, you can find me at these links. Um, I gotta say peen. I mean, to no surprise to anyone, Riley is not a bad person. Like, Riley <laughs> is not a bad person. He's a great employee. It's just funny to hate him. Um, <laughs> and also I adore Pan and AJ, so it's all good and fun. <laughs> um my turn yeah or yes you? your turn yeah um hi there guys i'm rhythm in the mind i am a uh, author i write a web novel called touch over at touch web serial it is also a story about um young teenagers and sexuality uh, it's about a uh, young young man named james toranaga and the journey of uh realizing that he is homosexual in the um, aftermath of a violent molestation and how uh, difficult that makes the experience for him. Um, but he also has superpowers. So 
it, it's a it's a read, uh, and I'm I'm rather proud of it. Um, personally, just out of spite, I'm going to ship uh, Riley with Hue, uh, Tai Lung's younger brother. No. Ooh. <laughs> what a That'll be the one. That's contender. the one ship I'm not having. Is I'm Riley not... by? I'm learning so much. Riley might be. Riley. 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 <laughs> We are Ooh, dealing with infinite himself. authorial potential. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I, I loved Axel's comment of by himself. <laughs> that bastard. That bastard. All, all by myself. <laughs> oh, God. All righty. <laughs> we should all go. All right. <laughs> Um, Josh, late, late night D and D time. Uh, yeah, Josh, yeah, the yeah. pirate. If you could come on in and choose who we're gonna raid. I should just blast. As for the rest of you, agent number one. We have so much affection because you have all been utterly amazing. Josh, are you there? Yeah, you're no, there we're somewhere. Said we're raiding. So agent number raiding one. Agent number be. one. Agent yeah. number one. It's gonna be agent number one. We are raiding. We are raiding. We're raiding. Oh, righty. Yeah. Right. Thanks much so much. Like, much much like, much like Discord after hours, D and D after hours is a strange time, but wonderful. Yes. It's we should leave it close though. And one of raid. Serum's final comments is Pinley the poly ship. Ah. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, guys, we're gonna go away and raid agent number one now. Um, I'm gonna just save everybody from this um <laughs> and, yes, uh, please thanks please please head on over to uh, so to Corsair's cove tomorrow you need night to sleep. for more and humble this. words and yes, i say goodbye more. everybody goodbye, bye everybody. bye and my torment <laughs> <laughs> i think that